Um, hello, James. I'm calling in regards of an email I just received uh, from the Microsoft. Okay. Yes, I was wondering if you could help me with it. It's about a, a charge here on my Microsoft account for the Windows Defender Advanced okay. Threat Protection. Help me out with voice number. Uh, oh, the voice number. The voice number. Okay, the you invoice, help me out with the invoice, invoice number. number. It's going to be E as in Edward, J as in Jam, W as in like water, uh, Y as in like yellow, G as in like gondoria, uh, Y as in yellow, I as in indigo, R as in like red rum, uh, 57, 8K. I'm sorry, I didn't pick up anything you just said there, young man. Could you repeat that? You have been charged for this? Uh, it, uh, yeah, it's $539 um, uh, USD. Okay, now according to our rent, what we can see that there was a subscription taken for Microsoft Windows Defender, which is a total correct. advanced yeah, threat and protection, which protects your device from all the spyware and the malware. Now, the service was given to you from our end as right. a trial purpose, which was totally free. Now, as it is going to get but it, upgraded, it's not free to anymore. Premium as the amount paid that, is $539. As because it is going to get upgraded to a premium version, due to that you are getting a charge of five hundred and fifty dollars. So, do you want to continue with this, or you want to cancel it and get your refund back? Now, I have a question though. If I cancel it, do I lose my computer uh, services, or do I go back down to the free version? No, no service you will be going to lose except the Windows Defender. Okay. Oh, okay. The okay. services will not be going to work anymore. I, I think the price is a little too much out of my so range to, 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 to pay for that. It, it's a little too pricey for me. Okay, so you want to cancel it and get your refund back, right? That's, yeah, that's, that's essentially what I'm saying, yes. Okay, so what we are going to do is, first of all, we need to You're breaking up quite a bit. You sound like you're speaking from the inside of an elephant's butthole. Uh, could you possibly uh, call me back on a better line? Yeah, I can make it fine, okay? Hold on. I will okay. be calling you right back. Yeah, thank you, sir. I appreciate that very, very much. Thank you for calling Microsoft Defender. This is Michael. How can I help you? Um, hi, Michael. Uh, I called just a bit ago, and uh, I don't know if you were calling me back or not. I'm still trying to get this canceled here. All right. So you want to cancel the subscription. Am I correct, madam? Yes, that's that's what I'm trying to say, yes. All right, dear. So can I get the invoice number so that I can check and cancel it? Uh, yeah, I just spoke with somebody on the phone. That's fine. Um, so it's going to be E J W Y G Y I R five seven eight K. And uh, are you in front of the computer, madam? Uh, yes, I am. I am. I'm reading the email from the computer. All right. So okay. So right now I got your invoice number. Okay. So we are going to start the cancellation and the Perfect. and the refund yeah. process. Okay, so yeah, the computer which you have in front in front of you, is it a Windows computer or a Mac Apple computer? Uh, it's a Windows computer, uh, I do believe. All right, that's great. So we are going to start the cancellation and the refund process. So I want you to X out from every page and come back to the home screen. Okay. Uh, sure thing. X out okay. from every page. Okay, I'm back on the wallpaper here.
the desktop. Uh, All right. So right now, what right now what we are doing, we are going to stop the defender services which you don't want to renew. All right. That's why oh, for okay. a charge. So we will take it out, and I'll give and I'll give you the cancellation form at the same time. And after that, we are going to initiate the refund. Okay. Sounds like an easy process. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, Mr. Michael. All right. So what you have to do, I do believe on your computer, you have a Google Chrome, right? Yeah. First of all, I open do. up the Google. Okay. And on the Google, look at the top, you will get to see long search panel where you can type something. Can you see that at the top? Uh, yes, I do. I do see that. All right. Type over there. D as in doctor. D as in doctor. C as in Charlie. C as in Charlie. A like uh, Alex. A like Alex. R as in Roger. R. Like a Romeo. Yeah, I have R. I have uh, D C A R. Correct. Then E like a Edward. E like Edward. Then give a period, like a dot, dot, a period. Yep. But right now, we cannot... Uh, then P, like a Peter. P. Then R, as in Roger. R, like Roger. Then O, like a Oscar. O, like okay. Oscar. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Now read it back to me. So I have dcare pro dot pro. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Now hit the enter from your keyboard. Oh, I'll give okay. you the cancellation code. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, hit okay. the enter. Secure. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm on the right page here. Okay. I'll give you the cancellation code. Type over there. Four two eight. Wait. Well, hold on one second. Hold on one second. Let me get this. Okay. The transaction is completed. Now, all you have to do is you have to minimize the face. So, you know how to minimize the face. Okay. What's the code? 428. 428. Okay. Oh, okay. 428. Okay. Oh, all right. I got a file here downloading right now as we speak. Uh, let me get this all set up. Right. All right. And do you see anything over there at the bottom left corner? Connect uh, setup wise client. Let's see here. It says EXE. this. This may. Oh my gosh. It says uh screen sharing I client want... service dot exe. Right. Uh, validated. Yes, uh, yes. So click on yes. Yeah, double click on that. Session. Your session is joining. Yes, yes. Jo oh, yes. successfully joined. Yes. Session. You, you have successfully on connected to your session. Right. This application right. now right. running. Right. Right. You you should see it in your wait, system okay. tray. You can right click and select it and exit and disconnect manually. With a little sign at the top, Hold let's on, see. Man. Yeah, absolutely. I don't see anything else. Uh, nothing seems to be. But it says you have successfully connected all right, to all right. the just session. Give... And the it... the Am no, I in the just, right location? Just give me after? A second, oh, okay. stop calling. Uh, it no, says the application is now second. running. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. It just says the application is running. So what am I supposed to be seeing here? No. All right. Right now, you are. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, like uh, transfer this call to my refund officer, okay? So just bear with me, dear. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, absolutely. Can do. Can do. All right. Uh, just give me a moment. Oh, absolutely. Take your time. Thank you for being online. My name is David. Uh, David Lee. Cow. How are you doing today? Hi, okay. David. How are you? I'm doing pretty good myself. Uh, I had a good okay. breakfast to start with today, and I'm feeling pretty good. How are you doing? <laughs> That's great. I'm fine. Thank you. And I didn't have my breakfast this morning <laughs> due good, to good. cancellation of my bus. 
I feel like breakfast is the best way to start the day. It honestly uh, gets you motivated. It gets you out the door. Exactly. It gets you some energy exactly. to start the rough day sometimes, you know? So you never know what the day is going to give you, and you got to exactly. be prepared. Because you have to start the day with yeah, full of energy. Full of energy. Exactly. First of all, David. let me inform you. You said your name was David. This call will be recorded. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this call will be recorded from here on. So what we are going to do as from my associate, you informed him that you do not want the automatic upgrade and you want to cancel the subscription and get the refund process back. So I will simply help you for the day. Okay? That's correct. Yes, I, now, I didn't, I didn't care for what the services. You, as long as I get to keep the, uh, the original uh, default one, uh, what was it called? Yeah. The Windows Defender, mm -hmm. if I remember correctly, was in the email. It uh, stated that uh, I am using the premium version, but keeping the free version. Is, is that mm -hmm. my understanding? Yes, exactly. Only the automatic upgrade version is the, will be cancelled, but the original version, which was pre-installed with your system, remains the same. We are not going to do anything with that. And you can use it as long as you want. Perfect. Okay. That's what I want to hear. That's what I want to hear. Thank you. Okay. I like that deal. Just, sounds, just tell me what bad. can you see. So, uh, may I ask, uh, what is the okay. premium version offer that the free version wouldn't offer? Is it just more protection or is it like... Uh, or are you guys no longer supporting yes. the free about... version? Is that any call? No. no, no, no. Let me tell you. The premium version, which has been renewed for, it has a more security upgrade level, and it can detect the security threats more easily. Okay, and there are a lot of other functions like network security also provided. So what happens if you are using more than one of your computer, uh, one Windows computer at the same location at the same internet connection? This security will be activated automatically on other computers as well. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, so so, it, so it's a it's it's almost like a network that knows when you're connected to another computer. Exactly. It, it, okay, it and it, it have... operates to the, so the premium version of the Windows Defender rather than leaving it at the free version when you sign into a computer. So it's almost like a fingerprint, a fingerprint, huh. a retina scan sort of technology that would. Those are different things. Those the, okay, the fingerprint uh, and retina scan is the function of your device. Right, I'm not but talking I'm saying, about the security right, directly. Well, I'm saying there has mm -hmm. to be a way to log you into that. You know, like the computer registers, or how does it know that the user on the computer is who they say they are? Exactly. Oh, okay, exactly. That's what I was exactly. getting at. It's exactly. sort of like a hypothetical yeah. sort of uh, scenario there. Can you hear me, Adam? So now, right. first of all, can you tell me the number which I'm talking to you right now? Can you hear me? Is that a cell phone or that is a home phone? It is a cell phone. It's a cell phone. Okay. Yes. okay. Now, uh, what I'm going to do, I'll just simply uh, you guide you with the process so that you can get me. Uh, right now, uh, you will be getting connected on the server, okay? And you will get the refund okay. portal in front of you. All you need to do is once you get the refund yeah. portal, you need to just submit the a refund portal, the cancellation portal, okay. in order to cancel the subscription permanently and re process the refund back. Once the oh, money sure. is refunded back, you need to just confirm really. that, yes, I, okay. I received my money and I'm happy with that. Because this entire conversation okay. recording would be submitted no, for the verification purpose, for legal purpose. So now okay. is this a, is this a verbal, uh, could you could you tell the uh, employee in the background a little bit, the uh, high shop a little bit, uh, he's... I, I can hardly hear you when you're talking. Yeah, I'm gonna... um, yeah, I can understand the yeah, other person is a bit loud, right? He's a bit loud. Could you so just tell me it's, just... it's just hard to hear you, and I'm trying to listen to you, it's not a... Mr. Loudass over there. Um, is it possible to... Uh... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Is it, it's so I'm uh -huh. just to understand, is this going to be a written thing, or is this verbal okay, because it's... Have... You said it was a recorded one, so it's a verbal, a verbal refund? Uh, yeah. Verbal. Okay. Verbal. Okay. Okay. Anything? okay. Now tell me what can you see on your computer right now? Uh, it just says join session. Uh, you, you have successfully see? connected to your session. Okay. The application is okay. now running. Uh, you should see it in your system okay. tray. Okay. You can right click okay. and select the exit to disconnect okay. manually. And then there's a little pink X. Listen to me. I'm listening. Listen to me. Listen to me. Yes, I'm listening okay. to you. You don't need to read everything. 
Oh, you yep, just you asked me what about asked. what was on the okay. screen. I just thought I would mention what was on the I, screen. Okay, oh, okay, okay. Calm down. What are you doing? We will be wasting time like that. Just calm down. Let me make it quick, okay? Oh, sure, absolutely. Close the page. X out. Just click on the little pink X here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, just hold on. I've done that now? Just now what can you see? Uh, it's asking for the secure code again. It's Do I click on the blue arrow okay. once again? On the right-hand side top, on the extreme right-hand side top, the right-hand side, right side the blue arrow. See an X. Yes. Yeah. Right hand side top. Right hand side top. Hold on this, for a moment. Okay, which right click? Say again. Listen to me. Listen, listen to me. Close okay. the browser. Extreme oh. right hand side That's top right. of the page. You will I see an it. X. It's back Extreme to the right secure hand side. code. Secure code entered. I think I've already, page, I've, already, I've already I've already gone through this process. Top of the page. Top of the page. Top of the page. Go to the top of the page. There's right nothing, hand there's side nothing, top. Right there's hand nothing side top. There's nothing here. Right hand, the right hand side top. The right hand side top, you will see an X. Oh, close out the browser. I understand now. You need to close the page. So you have to go to the right hand side close. top of okay. the page. I got and it. And X of the browser. Thing. Got it. Yeah, I Okay, now are you on your normal computer screen with your icons and your wallpaper? Correct, sir. Okay. Where you can see your icons and the wallpaper. Okay. Over there, just wait for a few seconds. You will get the refund portal any moment. Okay. Once you get the refund portal over there, just let me know. Absolutely. Sounds good. Sounds wonderful. It will take so just be with me and i'm with you i'm with you until the end get this let's get this mm -hmm. taken care of and also, also i will just do Same. one thing get yeah. a pen and a paper uh, would any would printer paper work or do i need line paper i don't know if i have line paper i have yes, printer paper you need to write down some information, so just get a pen and a paper. Oh, okay. What information am I writing down here, David? First of all, write down my name. David. My name is David. What's your last name? And my last name is Lake. L-A-K-E, Lake. Lake. David. I'm so sorry. How about did you get it? L A K E Lick? Yeah, I got David Lick. Like I said, I'm sorry for your last name. Yeah. And write down my employee ID. D as in David, L as in London. Number oh. four, number four, number three, number two. Number two. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's a pleasure. Uh, okay. It's now a pleasure just speaking wait. with you, Mr. David Lick. <laughs> and why do you say so? Oh, oh well, just to properly in introduce ourselves, I, I have I know your full name. That's I was just saying. Pleasure to speak with you. Mm -hmm. Out of respect. Okay. So now I'll simply drive you with the refund po portal. Okay. So any moment of time, you will see the refund portal in front of you. Just let okay. me know if you see it. And uh, uh, like, as, as what was your name you said? Help me with your name. Nancy. 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 Yes. And Nancy, what would be your last name? Uh, Wheeler. Sorry? Wheeler. W H E E L E R. Okay, Nancy Wheeler. Yeah. Okay. Right. And your cell phone number 628. Correct. That's right. Okay. Just wait. Absolutely. Let me just notify my team so that they can send you the portal. And any time if your computer shows that it is getting upgraded or it is getting startup, do not worry. Now, am I there upgrading the computer, computer or am I downgrading the computer? Because I want to go from the premium uh, defender to mm -hmm. the free version. Yep. From my understanding, yep. that's that's what I want to 
I want to take it down to the free level. Yeah, I want to take a step or two down, basically from the top of the staircase all the way to the bottom of the staircase. Preferably if walking If you don't back. allow me to speak this way. Oh, I'm so sorry. Go ahead. You have to allow me to speak. If you keep on speaking, things will be delayed a lot, okay? So just wait. I'll just show you what we you are going to get. Okay. Sure. You mentioned uh, just just uh, out of uh, curiosity, you mentioned an upgrade. I don't know if uh, your uh, colleague, Mr. Michael, uh, told you. you didn't, uh, didn't Say again. They didn't let me finish my word. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Just okay. That's why I said just calm down. Okay. Yeah, I'm calm. Just I'm just let the other person speak. Right, go ahead. I just I heard you say upgrade, and I want to be clear on what I'm getting. I want to make sure that I'm I'm downgrading from the premium version down to the original free version. What can you see on your computer screen? Just let me know. So now it says uh, getting Windows ready. Do not turn off uh, your computer. Yes, exactly. Oh, okay, so this the is the is this is the downgrade process, down. correct? Exactly. Perfect. Your system is just getting the software removal. Okay. Right. That is why it is showing you so. That's, That's, perfect. That's what I want to so see. Now, yeah. very soon, you will see a refund portal in front of you. Okay. Once you see the refund portal coming up, just let me know. Okay. Currently, I do not see the refund portal as of right now. Okay. I said any moment it should come. Just okay. wait. Give it some time. Still hasn't come into the. It's not coming up. No. What can you see over there? Just tell me. Oh yes, yes, yes. I see. Uh, it's in the file folder. So I just click on that. Yes. Just oh. open it. Double click and open that one. Okay. Now you will see a black box in front of you, right? Yes, yes, sir, I do. Okay, now, now listen to me carefully, okay? Do All not right. speak now. Just Absolutely, listen. I'm listening to you. This is, you have the floor. Microphone's in your face. Should I Should I speak? No, go right ahead. Absolutely. I was, I was just letting you know you have the floor. It's... Okay. Yeah. Now, this refund portal is a connection okay you which is made directly with the server so you are directly connected on the server okay. and that is the reason once you submit this cancellation portal you will simply get your refund process right away on the call and okay. you need to give me the confirmation right now so what but is it connected you to have if you to don't mind me asking no don't ask anything listen to me now oh, okay, okay? I just do not ask anything Let's okay. just listen yeah absolutely okay no now you need to fill up the form as right. per my instruction right. okay do not do anything from your end because if you make a mistake it I, will I not will give you mistake, the chance yeah. to rectify the mistake okay so, so it's a one so it's a one no, input and done then kind of scenario here sorry so it's a one input and done so like when i fill out my name just be make sure there's no incorrect like so when it's asking for the name listen make what sure I'm i type saying. in the name Just correctly listen what i'm saying go ahead if Jeff. you make a mistake you will lose okay so don't just speak just listen okay. the first option it is asking you is your name okay right just asking type for in your name. first and last name and wait. the middle name is first and last name the middle name isn't uh, required then no the middle name is not required okay just Great. type your first and last name Wait for the next option. Do not click enter from your end. Do not click enter from your end. Okay. Don't Just type your name and wait for the next option. Okay. I've waited for the next option. And how do I know when it's ready? I, I no, typed don't... in my name. And how long do I wait? What's the... Okay. Accept it. Okay. Now, what is the next option it is asking you? It's asking for my phone number or... What can you... Type in your 
cell phone number. Type your cell phone number. Uh, sure, give me one second here. Let me just go to my caller ID. Um, uh, all right, uh, I got it here. And I just, just pop that in. Type the number and wait. Do not click enter. Just type the number. That's what I'm asking. Just type the number. Yes. Okay. All right. I typed my phone number. Just wait. All right, Just tell me what is asking you next. What can you see next? Um, it's asking for the email address that I use. Type, type your email address. Oh, okay. Email. Type your email address and let me know. Oh, okay. So. Okay, I typed in the email. Just wait. It will give you the next option. Okay. What can you see over there? Asking for my zip code. So just enter what can zip you code. see over there? It's okay. just asking for the zip code. Type your zip code. Type your zip code. I, I typed it in. Typed it in. Yes. Yes. Tell me then what is next? Asking for what the is asking bank you? name now. Is it the full bank name or just a... Oh, just a... I don't have to all me. the information. Yeah, in the bank name, in the bank name section, you need to type the name of your bank, which has your regular checking account, which has your regular debit card. Okay. So simply type the name of your bank. Do not mention any kind of account numbers or any other numbers. Okay. Simply type the name of your bank, which has your regular checking account. I just wasn't sure exactly uh, what type of information it's asking for here. So it's asking now, it's asking option? for the type of account. You said not to mention any numbers. Uh, so do what do I type yeah, with a type of account? Should I just say banking? It's just a regular be, banking account. Type of account should be checking. 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 Yes, write the word checking. Checking, okay. Have you given the word checking? Yeah, I've, I've typed in the word checking. What is the next option? Tell me. It's asking for the refund amount here. Now, can you tell me on your email, which, the, which you have received, how much was the money charged showing you on your email? Mm, I think it was five something. I don't remember exactly the amount. I don't know if you have the information in front of you. Please do one thing. Please, please open the email and check. Open your email and check that. Okay, I can do that. So what am I waiting for here? Uh... Oh. Yes, what my team is notifying me, the $539 which is shown to you on the email, right. you will be receiving the cancellation amount of $539 completely, but okay. you will not receive the $539 at one go, okay? The first, you need to receive it for $250. And once that is confirmed, then you will receive the remaining $289. So now do one thing. Close your email. X out of your email first. Say again? I'll close your, my email? Once you... Yeah. Okay. Now, in the amount of refund, the first option, okay, you just type in $250. How you will type in? Just give first the dollar sign. There's so just two put in five zero dot zero zero. Dot zero zero. So two five zero zero. Yes. Two five zero dot zero zero. Oh dot zero zero. Got it. So you will get two hundred and fifty. Yeah. 
Okay. It should be the dollar sign should be first. Um, dollar sign two five zero dot zero zero. Dollar sign. Okay. Yes. Because first you confirm the $250, then you will get the remaining. Okay. So just wait, it will give you the confirmation right now. Gotcha. Okay, so what yes. can you see next? It just says tell me. Processing uh, refund, please wait. Refund successful. Okay, cool. Is it showing you refund successful? Yes, it is. It's saying it's successful. Thank you. And uh, is it showing so you check account to confirm? Yes, but it's only the two hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, obviously, I was charged five hundred and thirty dollars. So I was wondering. Um, you will. I told you. I told you that you will get the entire five hundred thirty nine dollars. First, you will get the two hundred fifty. Once you confirm right. the two hundred fifty, then you will get the remaining two hundred eighty nine dollars. So first, you do one thing. Since it is showing you refund successful and check account to confirm, first you close the black box, X out of the black box. Oh, okay. I've exited out of and the black op box. Open your banking page. Open your bank and check if you have received the two hundred fifty dollars or not. And then after the two hundred and fifty dollars, do I get the the other half of the money, or what? What happens with yes, that? Because I yes, feel like yes, uh, you know yes. I. You Clearly, I'm not getting the full amount you will get yet, the other so I was kind of curious, is that something that comes later, or is that something I have to fill out for? What can you see? Just let me know. Ah, uh, just Windows is uh, getting ready. Uh, don't turn off your computer. Okay, so just wait for a few seconds. Okay. Okay. Yep, absolutely. Can do. I personally love the tilt. Yes. It's once beautiful. you see your screen up, just let me know. Okay. Absolutely. Because first we need to confirm this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that's totally fine. Uh, so uh, again, uh, I asked a question about the the statement of the other money, the the other half of the money. Is that something I go through the same uh, process again, or how does that work, Mister Dave? Yes, you, yes, you you have to go to the same process again, and then you will receive the other half right now. So, was there any reason okay. why we did it? The, First, you uh, need to. I was just curious, is there any reason why we did it this way rather than doing it like, uh, you know, taking the whole... Yeah. No, see, this is how we are, the transactions are shown, okay? This is how the process is shown. That is why you will be receiving it in the same way. What do you mean by this way. is how the transactions so are shown? I was just the... curious if the money is in, you know, like if we do the money through one transaction, why was it not one transaction instead of two? That's my only uh, asking why the 250 and not because, the 539 all at once. Uh, obviously, I paid all at once. Wouldn't there be a reason? Because, for I mean, as long as I get all my money in the end, I think that's all, all that matters. So I just was wondering why it was broken into uh, parts instead of a full. I, I can, yeah, I can I mean, understand your question. Okay, yeah, yeah. What I'm telling you is that the reason why we have done the transaction in two parts it is because what happened we are transferring the money from the refund portal okay now the portal works in a way okay that whatever you put the information over there all right it will accept the information then and there and it will not give you the chance to rectify the information and that is the reason what happens we do not do the big amount at one go all right we first check to see if it is going to the correct account, to the correct person or not. He didn't not. say anything important, so That's why we do the first uh, transaction so that we see that if it is reaching the correct customer or not. And when you go ahead and you check your account and you to tell us that, yes, I received the funds successfully in my account, then we do the remaining. So it is just the process. There's nothing new. It is just the process how it has been done. Okay? So oh. you don't need to worry. 
just yeah. wait and let me Absolutely. know uh, like I was what just, I was just curious about the matter yeah. as well as I was thinking of uh, you know how uh, I, I can yeah, understand how I the can, process was developed and why it was I can broken understand into two the, versus one but now now that you've explained it I kind of see the the idea that it's broken into a, a more an easier to manage situation where it's you know one payment and the next one follows after suit and I think that's, you know, obviously a, mm-hmm. a rather ingenious uh, or barbaric uh, setup, uh, the, depending on your stance on the matter. But it seems like it could be possibly a good uh, idea. I think that's good. It's a good way to look at things. Um, good way to good way to bring things to light, uh, honestly. So it, it's it's obviously something that I think uh, was that something that you developed, or was it something that one of your teammates developed? Uh, either way, it's. Uh, it's definitely in the right direction, yes. uh, and I appreciate so, uh, your from looking our, out for us and uh, taking care of me and you know and others like me. So thank you, I appreciate. That. Yeah, this is something which has been notified by our team. Okay, the technical team has made this kind of decision. That is why we are taking it in that way. Okay. Oh, okay, absolutely. So just wait and tell me if your screen is up or not. Uh, it's still getting Windows ready. Uh, do not turn off your computer. So it's uh, still in the process of uh, checking and uh, removing files. I, I suppose I'm not entirely sure. It's just, okay, yeah, it's, okay. uh, I didn't get a chance to check the bank, so you have to bear with me on this one. Uh, I, I, I sorry to eat up your time here. It's just uh, obviously I can't see the bank yet. So, but I imagine uh, it's just removing some stuff that maybe take a couple more minutes. Uh, hopefully, it's I'll have an answer for you in a second. Mm-hmm. Okay. So just wait, give it some time. Okay. Uh, okay, I can, you anything yes, I can see you. the, I can see the, uh, the, hold on, let me, where am I looking at here? Oh, what happened? What happened? Give me one second here. I don't know what, honestly, what happened here. Uh, okay, the files are... What happened? Can you tell me? I, I don't know. It's logged me out of the bank uh, when the screen came back. Maybe it was just... Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, the screen... Uh, can you see the screen in front of you? Uh, yeah, it just says Windows is getting ready again. Mm-hmm. Just tell me, do you see any transaction of 250 over there? Uh, no. What can you see right now? Just tell me. I, I'm not entirely sure what I'm seeing right now. Please wait uh, to come response or exit the page. Do I just click on wait? Uh, there, I don't know, I'm getting a page and response. Wait, exit page. Okay, just wait then. There is an issue with your internet connection, I believe. Yeah, okay, there it goes. Yeah, I see it. Um, now I can see the screen, but... Uh, what is? Looks, what can you see? Like just... still, it just shows me the balances right now. I just I can't move the screen or anything right now. Okay, uh, log out of your page. Log out. Um... I don't know if I can. It's waiting for a spot. I don't know what's going on. It might be just the internet or something. Can it's you one tell of those me? Days. Like... Yes, I believe your internet is having a problem. Yeah. Mm. Just I'm trying to click on the waiting. It's yeah. Okay. Can you just? There it goes. Okay. Now it's now Windows is updating again. Okay, I do apologize. Yes, I'm so sorry wait about all this. Uh, I honestly have not. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. <laughs> I believe the internet is creating a problem. Yeah, it, it seems like the uh, removing. You don't sound too good. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. I just need some water. Oh, okay. Yeah, it sounded like you needed to take that nasty ass cough out of here. So you might want to get some water or something. 
Yeah. I, I'm surprised you even came to work today with that, um, trying to get the whole call center sick or something. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Would you like can to go take a? Would thing. you like to go take can a glass of water right now? So you can get off here. Just go if you wanted to go get a glass of water. I, I, I can wait my for water. you. Can we... Yeah, I just was wondering if you want to go get a glass can of water. I can do one absolutely thing. wait. Can I, I gotta wait for the computer to update anyway, so it's probably up? something that's gonna be. Uh, you could just grab the water while I uh, just wait for the the, the downgrade. Mm -hmm. No, uh, just sign out of your account. Uh, okay. Sign out. Mm -hmm. Okay, I signed out of the account. Okay, just do it. Okay, I'm waiting here. Because your internet is not working correctly, okay? Hey, hey, so I just can be wait because of a uh, uh, as per, Yeah, because as per my team, okay, the transaction has gone through successfully. And okay. you should have received the transaction by now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, even every the, even the Windows showing... machine is, keeps updating, so I'm guessing, like, the file keeps breaking. Maybe the internet's being a little choppy or mm -hmm. something because the screen mm -hmm. keeps popping up and it's not a... So I don't know if it's maybe that or this. You know, it could be that, this, or even over there, I guess. Just mm. wait, okay. And sometimes it's the it tilt, sometimes it's the, the, it's the rainbow this changing this colors. It, it goes back and forth. Sometimes it's black and white, which is really cool too. Just tell me what can you see and I'll just guide you from there. Um, well, I kind of see the chase loading up uh, here. It's, it's taking its time. Okay. Click on the, at the right hand side top, you will see an X. Click on the X and close it. Oh, okay. Close. Now what am I clicking uh, on What here? can you see in front of you? Yeah, I'm, I'm... What can you see? The refund portal? Do I just pop that up? Close that. X out, X out of that page also. Oh, okay. On the right-hand side top, you will see an X. Close it. Oh, okay. I've closed the refund portal. Yes. Have you closed the refund portal? Yeah, I closed the refund portal. Now open the browser. Open your Google Chrome then. Okay, I've opened the Google Chrome. So now I'm now, on Google. The once the Google Chrome is open. Yeah. Is it open? Yes, sir. Okay. Now just wait. Let me notify my team so that uh, they can just uh, uh, tell me if okay. it is yeah. going correctly, and then you can do it again. Absolutely. Sounds good. Sounds wonderful. I like that uh, uh, idea. Mm -hmm. Just wait. Let me oh, see. yeah, absolutely. So the money has definitely been transferred on your end, correct? From yeah. What we, well, from what we've seen, the, the money, money has, has been, been transferred from, from your end, and it's in and my the... bank account, but we're having trouble. We're having internet issues to check it and verify it from my end. And plus, we're getting the Windows downgrading at the same time. So I think it's just the level of intensity that's happening on the computer that's allowing it to uh, stress it out in a terms of not allowing the computer to properly engage what it needs to do for the bank and setting up, uh, you know, uh, viewing the information that I need to view in the timely manner. manner. I'm sorry to eat up your time like that. You know, it's it's one of those things uh, trying to figure everything out. Can you tell me, like, what... Can you tell me that? Say again. Like what you normally do. What do you mean by what do I normally are do? Are you uh, like, like uh, are you working somewhere or you're a business person? I, I do work it? for a business. I'm a spokesperson for a, a logging company. So I do make like press conferences and things like that. Uh, we usually just kind of keep it to the... Uh, how, how do you put it? Uh, mostly like in a professional manner. Uh, we try to, you know, spin things when things go bad. You know, uh, we've lost a couple people, uh, you know, when especially uh, limbs and things like that. You know, we kind of spin it in a positive manner. You know, when we tell the family, hey, uh, 
John maybe lost his leg, but uh, you know, at least at least he's still hopping to it, you know, that kind of thing. You know, we always try to try to promote a, a mm. positive wood. You know, we our motto is uh wood up in the morning, so we try to keep it always positive, mm-hmm. and happy for everybody. <laughs> That's why you have so much of positive attitude. That's right, because I always have to spin the negative into the positive, and that's why I have a lot of positive energy here. You got to keep it, and that's why I always try to be upbeat and the most exciting in the morning. Never a dull moment in my life, I tell you. I can understand. That is why after talking to you, I can understand the kind of energy you have while you are speaking. Exactly, yes. Uh, Walk it off, it's only a flesh wound. Uh, It's just a scratch. You'll be, you'll be uh, back tomorrow. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Just put some ice on that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Great. You exactly. have a great attitude, I must say that. Yeah, I try my best, you know, no, I try just my wait, best. Okay. I, I, I'm just, yeah, I'm just informing my team to stop the automatic update, okay? So yeah. that you can just get to your system, uh, like, you can start using your system correctly and you can be able to get into the account pay, accounting page correctly. Okay, because so yeah, as of right now, maybe I don't system... have access to the account page, and it's a little... Yeah, and I don't see anything that I can do uh, in terms of anything other than seeing the, the mm-hmm. screen itself, uh, if that makes sense. Uh, the screen itself. I can understand. It is like... Right. You don't see that. Yes, okay. Try and see if you are able to log in again. Try and see if you are able to log in again to your bank. Okay, I do see the bank now, or the the uh, at least I see the computer updated. So hold on a second here. Okay. Launch. launch over there? Launch after. All right, I'm logging into the bank again. Yes. Okay, I have the updating screen again. Is that is that normal? That's, that, that is normal. Okay. Just wait. Give it some time, okay? Okay, absolutely. And how long does this process normally take? I feel like it keeps cutting in and out. Is there any way we can put a pause on the updating so we can get the so I can just check the bank really quick? And this way I know if it's and then we can let this process run in the background. It would probably be the easiest and maybe the smartest process here. Uh, I think if uh, if any of you can pause the update. I can understand. I can understand that. I can yeah, understand that, but uh, we need we to wait for the them to give me. This way, we can bring the we can get uh, up to speed. I can let you know if the refund was successful, and then we can downgrade everything once we mm-hmm. know the money's at because it's only one portion one portion of the money anyway, and then the second portion can hit the bank, and this way we'll know we'll have everything correct. Is that right? I can understand what you said. So that is what I am trying to tell to my team. To okay. do so that you can first check your first we can successfully get the money transferred and then we can do the rest I understand so just wait okay i was just thinking just it would wait. probably be easier if we didn't do uh, everything moment, all at please. once uh maybe just do one task at a time like we can check the bank then we could downgrade afterwards it would probably be the easiest because now we have this downgrading service uh blocking the screen where i won't be able to tell you what's happening right now because the computer's updating Okay, now simply close down the browser. If that yes, makes any sense at all. Come your regular wallpaper screen. Maybe you don't like uh, smart options. I'm not, I'm not entirely what? sure. No. <laughs> it's not like that. It's not like that. No, I, I understand. It's not like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I am. Okay. I see. I need to have patience to do my job because it's a technical thing. So it takes time. So I have to bear with that. Don't worry. It will come up any moment. And just tell me if you see it. Yeah. Uh, what am I looking for? I see the um the transfer to the refund portal. So I got the two hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. You received the two hundred and fifty. You received yes, that? I did. Yes. 
If you receive it, that's good. Now you can close your account and we, um, we will go ahead and do the next. So just close the sign out. out of the account. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Because we have got the confirmation. Okay. Oh, okay. Now we will do the remaining, which is the $289. Perfect. So now open enough. the uh, re refund portal again. Open the uh, refund portal again. Where do I find the refund portal? It's no longer, you told me to exit out of it. I no longer have access to it. No oh, okay, okay. I will just give you oh, the okay. refund portal once again. Yeah, All right. It's... Just give me a moment. Just be with me, okay? I, oh, I will you. tell I'm my team you. to send the refund portal to you again. And the refund process, okay? So, can I just put you on? I think the cool part of this is um, he actually sent me $250. That's really, really cool. That was really, really nice of him. He sent me $250. Like a champ. In case you were wondering. Oh, I thought he was coming back. Uh, hey, my boss. Okay, you there? Hello. I am yeah, thank you for here. being in hold. Hello? Yes, I'm here. All right, Nancy. Uh, okay, after the uh, call, okay, the call duration is going ahead, so the line may get disconnected any moment. So what my team is suggesting that I should call you from my end. I have your number 628. Correct, that's the number. Okay. okay. Can you do one thing? Can you get a pen and paper and you just write down my number as well? I have so your number written down already on the paper with, uh, with uh, David no, no, Fleck. No, Fleck. Fleck. No, you need to write yeah, I have your name. I have your name down. down. No, I have your number already written down. The 181 or 817 uh, David Fleck. Mm -hmm. No, not that number. No. Oh, number. oh, it's I'm a different number. I'm giving you my direct desk number. Just write direct. down. Oh, okay. Write That's different. You I... didn't mention that before. I was a little confused because I did have Mr. Flake, uh, uh, your oh, number. I okay, had... okay. Yeah, I had your original number written down as, uh, what is it? It's 817. And I have that number written down as. Okay, as your... write down my number. So got, wait, sorry. We'll say that again one more time. So what was the number one more time? Say again. I was. Okay. Okay. And that's the last. That last uh, four digits. The last four digits. What was the last four digits? One more time, the, the phone was cutting out a bit. Just one more time on that one. Okay. Four, okay, the last digit's four. I got it. Got it? I got the whole thing, yeah. Got it. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to hang up this call and I'm going to call you from my direct number. Just uh, check your cell phone. You will have the number ending with 2874. I okay? got it. 2874. Got it. I'll uh, okay. answer the call immediately and I'll yeah. I'll look forward to talking I'm to you again, Mr. Blake. I'm trying to get disconnected. Yes. All right. Yes, sounds good. I appreciate, I appreciate all the right help. Now. So now I have a question, though. Is, is all the information on the computer, has that been downgraded as of now or we still have some other... Uh, things to tackle with, or am I just well, getting the refund as of right now? Because I mean, we've already mostly taken care of most of the information that has to be downgraded, or at least I assume so. But that would be mostly on your end that would be Please, handling yeah. that. So I could possibly uh, just kind of wait. Uh, we could also Nancy, figure out a here. way uh, to downgrade everything else in terms of um, heading to, you know, like uh, making a log or something we can manage. 
between the two of us so we know what's been downgraded and what needs to be taken care of, but I am still missing the other half of my portion of my refund. So I don't know if that's something that you want to help with is setting up the, the downgrading process and then also take care of the other refund. Is that something we're going to be doing today or are we finishing that later uh, at a different time? Uh, I don't know if that's something that... So, hello? Uh, yes, hello. Hello, man. Yeah, I'm, Nancy? I'm here. Yes, this, this is David. David Flicker. I'm sorry the line got disconnected. Can, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I thought you hung up on me. No, no, no. Line got disconnected accidentally. Oh. I don't know how. Oh, okay. Did you want to so call was, me back on I your just... personal number or did you want to keep calling, no. talking to me on this number? Because, I mean, I, I see no No, reason. this number is good. Okay, this so number wanna, is good. We so can do I just call you call. back on the other number or? No, well, no, you, do we... don't, you don't need. But my other shit, you don't need to call me. Just talk to me right now on this number. Oh, okay, so this, this number okay. is fine. This number works for you then, right? Yes, yes. This number is fine. That's, you yeah, can talk okay. to me on this that number. That works then. That works for me. Absolutely. And, and if this works for you, then this works for me. I, I like this. Okay. Now just wait. Okay. Just wait, let me check from my team. All right, and uh, what can you see on your computer right now? Just tell me. Uh, say that again, uh, I, I'm sorry, I not I dropped the phone a bit. What can you see on your computer right now? I see now? The, the wallpaper, I'm just staring at the wallpaper, so. Okay, uh, just, uh, you do not find the refund portal over there, right? No, 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 it's missing. Okay. You will get the refund portal any moment now. Okay. Just yeah, tell yeah. me once you get the refund portal. Uh, absolutely, because as of right now, I don't see it. Um, oh, wait, wait, it says uh, there is a file uh, with the same. Oh, it's gone now. Okay, I do see the refund portal now. It's it is it is indeed. Open it. Open it. All right. Give me one second here. Let's uh, open up the refund portal here. Okay. Did you open it? Yes, sir. I opened the refund portal. Now you so just fill out the same process as before. We just we're gonna navigate through this again. Yes. All yes. Right. Type in your name and wait for the next option. I already got just it. Wait. It's like Don't clockwork here. We got it. I understand. Uh, so I'm just gonna fill out everything again. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you for calling. Now Microsoft. Type in your cell phone number and wait for the next option. Oh, okay. Give me one second here. Uh, all right. All right, got it. Okay, just tell me what is coming up next. Asking for the email address. Do I? Is it? Uh, okay. Um. Oh, it's not writing. Uh, there it goes. Type in your email then. I got Type it. Type uh, email address. All right, got it. <laughs> okay, just wait and tell me what is coming up to you next. Uh, accepted. A zip code, 94118. All right. Mm -hmm. It's just hung up on that right just now. Wait until... uh, oh, I have a white box here. What can you see next? Tell me. Uh, it, yeah, it just says there's a white box here. I don't know what it is. Uh, it says Nancy Wheeler. Oh, it has also very much just leaking everything, yeah. Close, close that. Can you close that white box? Uh, how would I, how would one close it? Okay, do one thing. Close the black box. I think there's an issue with it. Okay. Close your black box. Okay, close okay, it. Okay, do one thing. Yeah, yeah. Don't open the refund portal. Okay. Close don't... the refund portal also. So close it with the close X the here. Okay. Port... Now, now, close listen to me. Yeah, On your normal, to you. listen to me. I'm On your computer to you. screen, do you see any deck, a red color icon, any deck? Yeah, I see, see that? that. I see that, yeah. Okay. Can you just open that one? Just give a double click and open it. Okay, I've done that. Now. When you open it, do you, do you see a nine-digit number which is your address and it should start with 340, right? Yes, I do, yeah, yeah. Okay, now 
just uh, write down that address in a piece of paper because that will be your cancellation ID. Okay. Write it down. Okay, I wrote it down. Yes. Now, on this any just wait. Let me notify my team. Okay. So now, am I? Am I? I have a question. Am I not getting the two hundred? Am I not getting the rest of the funds, or is am I only getting the two hundred and fifty dollars? What? Uh, yes, you will get that. You um, will get the uh, the money. Okay. You will get the remaining money, which is the two hundred and eighty nine dollars remaining. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm asking. Is about get the you, rest you of the received, money. You received. Yeah, you received the first transaction of 250. Now you will receive the remaining transaction, which is 289. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's, that's so what just I was... wait within a few moments. Okay, yeah, that's what I was asking. It. Is how, how would I get the other the other portion of the money, or would I? Right now you will receive it. Don't worry. That yeah, that's what I'm asking. Is will I receive it? And how long will it take? Yes, I wasn't right able now, to finish the the entire the entire form. Like it it went away before I was able to finish it all. So I'm kind yeah, of curious. yeah. I know that that you were not able to finish the entire form, right. and the something yeah, yeah. white box came in between. So that is why I'm what I'm trying to see is that I'm trying to just let my team yeah okay get it again to you. So just wait. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Close everything. Yeah, can you see? Sure, you need to you need to follow my instruction, okay? So that we can cancel everything, okay? So is it still downgrading the software on the computer? It's See, it is uh, like I will not use the word downgrading. Rather, well, we I mean, use I am the coming off the is... premium version to the free version. So assuming that that's how the case would be, I would assume that that would be downgrading as in it's a step below as you've labeled one of the tiers as premium and the bottom tier as free. I would assume that that is a downgrade if I'm not mistaken. It's not getting downgraded. It's just getting the one of the services is getting disabled. But oh, you can see so that uh, one of the well, services will a, be disabled. As, so as a disabled, uh, you know, account, does that mean it's it's still downgrading, right? Because I'm not getting the entire package, right? Exactly. So it's still a downgrade. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I, I'm still waiting for the downgrade, right? I, and, and it's not a pretty word, right, to be downgraded from something, but I, obviously I don't want to pay $539. So therefore, I am happy with the downgrade, even if you you and your company are not satisfied with the word downgrade, if that makes sense. I don't know if you're, <laughs> yeah. He just walks away. Yes, you there? I'm still here, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Just wait, okay? Okay. You will, uh, like... I will just send you the refund portal again, okay? okay. Because there was there was an the issue box, right. that you were not able to get the refund portal correctly. Foiled, foiled so by the white you. box. Yes, there was a white box. Yes. So just wait. I'm sending it to you again. Don't worry. I keep calling. Did you get it? Just tell me. Uh, I am waiting for the the, uh, the message to pop up again. It's no, it will not pop up on the message. Just check your computer screen. It will be one of the icons over there. Just check. Oh, oh they are. Uh, got you. Do okay, you the icons. Yeah, I got it. Do you see the? Yeah, do you see the refund portal over there? Yep, I see it. So I'm just filling this out once again. Then. Okay. Yes. Give your name and wait for the next option. Oh, okay. All right. Now give the next option, your phone number. Okay, just be on the line and let me check, okay? And can you see any invoice oh, okay. number over there? Invoice number? Mm -hmm. Yeah, happy 
you did that. All right, email address and do type in your email address. Uh, mm -hmm. All right, just be on the line and let me check. Okay, okay. got it. Give me a What is coming up next? Zip code. Got it. Zip code. Type in your zip code. Got it. Mm -hmm. Now. All right. What comes up? The bank name. Bank name. Type in your bank okay. name. Got it. Mm -hmm. What is next? Uh, type of account. Again, it's asking for the type of account. I just put in uh, checking. Checking. Yeah, okay. the word checking. Got it. Now what is coming up next? Uh, it just says type of account. So uh, just in the type of account, type in the word checking. Oh, I typed in, I'm sorry, I typed in chicken. <laughs> got it, checking, got it, I understand. Okay, now what can you see? The refund amount? Now, what am I typing in here? Now, you need to first give the dollar sign, then 289.00. 289 Yes, because you already get the 250, so it will be 289.00. Oh, okay. So, $289, and it will be done. So, just tell me what is right. coming up now. It's processing the refund now. Okay, processing. Just wait and tell me once you see next. Um, says, uh, please check the count and mm -hmm. confirm. Thank you. Okay, so it is showing you refund is successful. Check account to confirm, right? Uh, yes, it's saying check account to confirm. So that's okay, that bouncing. means the refund has been successful. Uh, okay, it seem now, like all you need to confirm on this call the, that you trying to click on the, uh, the logo here to get the bank. Uh, I think the computer froze. Try to restart wait, it. Wait, okay. well, wait, uh, give me one second wait, wait, wait. Sometimes this happens. I, I my never, computer is really, really slow anymore. I could definitely try, uh, you know, restarting it if that you think if that would you help. you allow or, me to speak. Hello? Yeah, yeah, I'm listening. I'm listening. I just was letting can, you know can if I you speak? think it's a... Can I speak? Yes, sir. Go ahead. I just can was... I speak? Yes. Yeah, go ahead, sir. Just calm down. Okay. Let me speak I... first. You're right. not allowing just... me. What can? How can we have a conversation? I just was mentioning wait. a solution just here. Wait. I said the computer is frozen. Wait. And just I, could, wait. I suppose I could just restart just wait. it if you think that's a good idea, I... sir. I, I said think. wait, Nancy. Okay, I'm waiting. You, you, you take the floor. Right? You Please. Got this. Go ahead. Now, as I told you, the call is getting recorded. Correct. On the yes, first sir. go, we have completed the transaction for two hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, you did say it was a verbal. Uh, so, did I have to read out any other things for the verbal confirmation, or is that not necessary? If you don't point? allow me to speak, how can we do it? I said, wait. Let me speak. I cannot speak anything with you. Everything is getting recorded. Please let me speak. Hold on. So as we confirm okay. that your charges of $589 would be sent back to you. Right. So the first transaction of 250, which already completed, Correct. and you have checked it with your account. Yes. And the it next transaction there. we have done for the $289. Correct. So you said that you have done it, and you can see that it is showing you refund successful. Right. Check account to confirm. Now, on this recorded call, you need to confirm me at the top of the black box, what is the phone number given? Just check, is your phone number correct over there on the black box? Yes, sir. Is it correct what you have typed in? Yes. Okay. Now, after the phone number, check in your email address. Is it the correct email address? Because we are recording everything. Yes, sir. So you sir. have to check each and everything. Yes, correct. So it is the correct email address? Yes. Now, after the email address, check your zip code. Have you I given the correct sure, zip code sir, over there? Sir, I've done a... a very thorough job on making sure that I no, typed no, nothing wrong. No, no, wrong. I need to, I need to, I, I just was letting you know I on need this. to do this. Yeah, I understand. I'm, I'm you don't need to you know let me know the, anything. No, I just was letting you know you that I was. You don't need to let me know anything, Nancy. Listen to me. Listen to me. 
Okay. This is my job. I have to repeat everything because this call is getting recorded. Okay. So please Again, check your zip code. I, is it correct or not? But the computer has frozen. I don't know if that's something I should bring I to your that. attention. I know that. I know that the computer yeah, has got frozen. I, was, it says, I know please that. Please check your account and confirm. Thank you. But I can't. I can't do as stated by the. What uh, I'm saying and what you come on. Hello? Yeah, I'm still with you. I'm still with you. If you don't allow me to speak, how can we get this done? Only you are speaking. Uh, well, I just was letting you, you know to, that the computer is frozen. It's asking. You have to listen. I, I'm just you letting don't you know need what's to on. say anything now. Listen to what I'm saying. I understand. I know I just... the computer has been frozen. Okay. It has been frozen from our end. Because we need a verbal confirmation. Oh, I see. That is well, why the you didn't mention that frozen. beforehand. I thought the computer had frozen itself. I, I didn't realize that you had done it. Your, I, had you mentioned that, I would have never brought it up to your attention. I was bringing it if to your you attention because I speak, thought the knowledge then I, then wasn't I can a part of your attention. So I thought I would share it to better, you know, to understand what the situation on you know, my end is compared to your end. So I was letting you know that the computer was frozen. I couldn't movie. check the bank account itself. You done? Yes, sir. I just was letting you know that I was missing knowledge from uh, this end of the. Uh, uh, you know, Should so I, I couldn't... speak? Should I speak? Can you please you be may. quiet for two minutes and uh, let me speak? Absolutely. Go ahead. Carry on. Please don't speak anything now. Just answer what I say in yes or no. Uh, yes. Okay. okay. Okay, absolutely. Can, can you see the black box in front of you? I I, I indeed can see the black box in front of me. Yes, sir. Okay. Can you see the, the, the phone number? Is it correct? Yes. Say yes or no. Yes. Okay. After the phone number, please check I your can, email. Let me, Have you given let, me the double, email? let me just double check to make sure since this is something that we need is very critical. Uh, allow me to just... Uh, Check very so two three yeah. You don't need to check anything. The phone you, number. You don't need to check. You need phone, to answer oh, me. Well, you just, need before well because it's a recorded line and you needed it to be verified to a certainty. I thought I would be uh, I'd I'd be uh, thorough with the investigation as well and say that, that is indeed my phone number that is listed on the yes. Should I speak now? Yes, sir. So please just answer me what I'm saying. Don't speak anything else. Okay. Okay? Because there is a legal procedure. I am doing it. Okay. You are speaking so much that I cannot do anything. I, if you don't I'm keep sorry, quiet, you, you asked cannot me, do anything. You did ask so me. So you if, please, um, you please just answer what I'm saying. Do not speak anything from your end. Do not speak. Just answer me in yes and no. Yes, sir. That's it. Yes, sir. Okay. I, I just was letting you no. know that I was trying to be thorough with No, the... you don't need to let me know anything. Do not let me know anything. Okay. Just answer just what I'm saying. Don't well. say anything from your end. Just tell me on the black box yes. the email ID that is my phone in. number. Is correct. That correct? Yes, that is. You there? Yes, that is indeed my phone number. Yes, I, I verified it is indeed. I am yes, asking, sir. I am asking. I am asking you. Did you check your email address? Is it correct? Uh, sir, I am unable to move the computer. I won't be able to check to see if that is the correct email address. But that looks very uh, correct uh, as far as my knowledge is aware. You cannot see your email address over there. It won't allow me to move the mouse, uh, or you have frozen my uh, computer no, in a way that I cannot yes check no. the email. I can de Just indeed tell me check yes it, no. but I cannot confirm with 100% accuracy that that is actually indeed my email address or if I've missed something, but it looks indeed correct. Okay, and what about the zip code? Did you check the zip code? I wouldn't need to verify the zip code as I know the zip code that I live in is indeed correct. Uh, that is indeed my okay. zip code, yes. Okay, 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 okay. Yes. Go for the next. Check the name of the bank. Is the bank name correct? Well, this is a trick question as um, I, I don't know if you wanted the JT Morgan Bank of Chase or do you want Chase LLC or if you needed a, you know, a certain variation of uh, the way they filed 
their copyrighted statement okay. of the bank name, and, and or if it can be the, as simple the, as just being the amount chase. of refund. See the amount of refund. Because I just wrote down correct? Chase, so I don't know if that's necessarily the uh, exact name that they're looking for in terms of what what are you guys accepting, or will it can it be verified through just the name Chase? Because there's obviously some very different variations of the name, which I don't know what the copyrighted file in which state it was filed in or, or where legally it stands in regards of that name. And what about the amount of refund? Did you check the amount of refund, 289? Well, I'm still trying to confirm the bank name. Do you know on your side if, it's, if Chase is a valid uh, entry? Yes. versus saying yes, yes. Oh, okay it yes. is then, then yes. yes indeed yes. yes yes i said yes that's it go for the next check the amount of refund is it showing you 289 dollars uh, be before we move on i just want to state that yes the indeed chase is correct then yes okay yes. now go for the amount of refund have you typed in $289? Well, um, we're missing uh, the type of account. Uh, just we've skipped over that. I just want to make sure we're very thorough in, in this. And uh, I don't next... need that. I don't need that. You don't just need go that. For that the one's next. not important. OK, so I just would like to know that uh, is there a reason why we're skipping over that one? And why would I fill it out if it was something that would skip over anyway? Now go for the next and the amount of refund. Have you uh, put in $289? Yes, sir. I, I put in $289. Yes. Okay. So, and is it showing you refund successful for $289? Yes. Correct. Right? Yes, this is uh, processing refund. Okay. Please wait. Successful. And it, then the last statement is please check your account and confirm, but you won't let me to do that since the controls have been taken okay. away from me. So let me check with so I don't my know if that's something that you can maybe give back to me now that we've completely filled out the verbal uh, communication of this written form as well as taking through the written form as well. Uh, it, would it be possible for me to check my bank account? where I can go and verify that I indeed received the $289 into my account. Just hold on. I'm putting okay. you on hold for 30 seconds so that I can confirm with my team that the amount has been sent successfully. So just hold on. Would you give want me, me to verify through my you. bank account? I can log in uh, if you give me access to First, I need to verify to with my team. This way I can and verify And then I will it. tell you to verify your account. And I can let account. you, I'll let you know if uh, I got the money anyway. Uh, possibly it could just be something that I first, can check on I my end. First, I need to inform my team. Well, could you give first, me... First, I need to inform my team. So please it, it, give me 30 you... seconds. I'm putting um, you on a before... silent hold. Before you, seconds. before you walk away, would it be possible for me to have access of the computer very quickly to so I can check it at the same time that first, you're checking you have it? To wait for and this way we can, we can kill, we can kill two seconds. birds with one stone as where seconds. I can be checking to wait verify and you can seconds. be checking with your team. Wait for 30 this way seconds. we can double wait verify. For 30 seconds. You know, it's always good to you know, have like sort of a seconds. double verification wait going on this way. Seconds. You're checking one and I'm checking the other. Just hold for 30 seconds. Okay, so and that's it. I so that's going to be a no on giving me access to the computer as of right now. I, uh, you don't want right to... now. Right now, I need to talk to my team. I'm putting you on a silent hold from now for 30 seconds. Hold on. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. What my team says is that in order to complete the file, okay, you did made, made a mistake on the refund form. Uh, I was pretty okay. very, I was very thorough about this. Uh, I don't think there was any mistakes uh, as far as it was it, yes. was it the email address? Because I a wasn't mistake. 100% about the mistake. email address. I could go back I and if you, you give me access uh, to the uh, computer, I can definitely 100% verify whether that was right or not. I couldn't remember if it was 13 or 27. I used both of those numbers. So it could have been either one of those. Uh, that's why I was saying you made a mistake a, with uh, the amount access. of refund. I wasn't 100 percent on you that. Made, you so made was, a mistake with the amount of refund. Verify uh, whether that was the right email address or not. I, I know I was a little confused and caught up on that one. So I understand if that was the mistake. Would that will that jeopardize the refund in general if if email isn't correct? 
you made a mistake with the amount of refund. Check the amount of refund what you did over there. Uh, which, which, what do you mean? The I, I am unable to check the refund amount as uh, you have not given me access to the computer. Uh, to on the black box, on the black the, box, the computer the is still of says, please on the black check box. account and confirm. So I'm still unable to check that. I don't know if that's something that you would be able to fix or correct, or at this time being, I don't know. I said on the black box, you have given the wrong amount of refund. You have given 28,900. It should have been $289. But you have given 28,900. Do you check it on the black box? Um, I, I did check it on the black box. I'm almost positive I put a decimal in between the nine and the zero. Uh, but why the decimal like is not showing right something. now then? Because my team is saying that you have received $28,000 on your account. Are you sure that's correct? I don't know how I would be able to make a mistake like that. I was very careful and thorough with everything, excepting with, no, with you the made exception a of the email Log into your address account in and general. Check. Log no, into your account and check. Log into your account and check. It's very confusing that I would Log actually your account and check. make an error account. on the uh, refund amount. That's quite... Um, it doesn't seem something like I would have done. Do you know if maybe Log into I suppose, your account... I suppose I could do like a, maybe a, a verification on the uh, keyboard itself. There's possibility that maybe the decimal just the decimal key is no longer working, and, and I could get this replaced. Uh, obviously, there needs to be some uh, adjustments that need to happen here because uh, we don't want errors like this happening. Uh, I can I can tell you that right now. But the decimal worked in every other place, like the dot .com would have been the same. So it's, it's a little confusing that it didn't work in the 289 point. The decimal didn't pop up on there, even though I would have used the same decimal at the same place. So it's kind of confusing that one would work, but the other wouldn't. I could. What could else could it have been? You know, it's uh, it's an odd... I mean, I suppose it could have been human error, in which case, you know, I could have just ran over it and just not even uh, assumed that, you know, I placed it and just thought I did. But I was pretty certain that I was very careful about everything that I put in there. So it's very confusing that it would just not work. What do you suppose that we do about this? First of all, you need to log into your bank account and check if you receive the 28000 in your account. Uh, is that is that the is that the best approach right now is to check to see if we have the money uh, I I see that it is exactly. incorrectly exactly. typed now do you know if the money was yes. sent from your end and and if if case uh, yes. was that My handled team has confirmed by the money has been was sent. that handled by an individual that confirmed the amount being sent of two hundred and eighty nine dollars and or or the two the twenty eight thousand nine hundred dollars. I I mean, to correction on that, uh, would All that right. be uh, your, human your input? Your call to... has been your call has been transferred to me. All right, I'm the and what is manager your... now. Now what let happened me, here? Let me have your what's notified. your information uh, so I can have that so I can properly address you from this Listen point on. Uh, yes, Listen... I didn't do that. Hello. Uh yes, hello. Uh, hello. This is Nancy Wheeler speaking. Uh, who may I have the pleasure of speaking to? This is David again. Uh, now, do David, one thing. Uh, yes. Close the black box. It's, so I was, speaking to, black box. I was speaking to one of your colleagues. I don't know what his name was. Uh, he was about to give it to me, and uh, he the phone disconnected, so I don't know if it, I'm getting back connected. Would, would it be possible to get his name, or are you going to take the case from now on? Yes. Just do one thing. Just close the black box and log into your Chase account. Do I have access to the computer now? Is it safe to navigate? Yes, yes. Okay, I just Mother. wanted to com yes. I just wanted to confirm whether it was safe to navigate the computer. Yes, just log into your account. Oh, okay. So, um, um, well, I, I got a black screen. I'm not sure if uh, the, I don't know if the computer just, just shut off it. or something. Just I can try it. restarting the computer if you think that will just help. Uh, I'll ask for your permission on that before I do so. But uh, do you think restarting the computer might help that? Or would that jeopardize things as of right now? Just wait. Okay. I said wait. Well, I just was wondering if I, you know, I, I'm trying to help here. Um, do not wonder anything. You did a mistake. 
and you try to, uh, the, there is an extra money in your account. So just wait. Yeah. Don't do anything. Uh, well, uh, of course, uh, I'm not doing anything. Uh, I just was wondering, uh, I, I got a black screen. The only reason I was wondering if you think a, a, a cycle okay. of the power might help uh, to speed things along. I don't want to take any much of your precious time up. So I just wanted to know if I should restart it to see if that helps to kick it started or something, you know. This... Yes, you are taking away my job. What, what do you mean I'm taking? Just wait. So do you want me to restart the computer to try to get this uh, to speed up the process? No, this? don't do anything. Do not do okay. anything. Just wait. Well, I am waiting. That's I was waiting for your confirmation on whether or not I should restart the yes, computer. Yes, just so restart wait. the computer? Yes, wait. Okay, give me one second. I can try holding the button down. No, don't do anything. Just wait. It will come up. Okay. Begin. It should it should come up. Uh, give me one second here. What you did? Uh, one second. One moment here. I'm just trying to speed up the process. All right, I can. I'm back on the computer. I, I can see the screen here. What can you see now? What you can see on your computer screen? Uh, Please let me know. It's the, it's the Windows logo. All right, now just give me a second. All right, okay. and don't do anything from your end, okay? Oh, I, I'm not going to do anything from my end. I, I waited for the confirmation of him to ask me to when he told me to restart the computer. That's when I restarted it. Now, what do you see on the screen? Uh, it's asking for a password. Huh? Oh, it's asking for a password? Put that password in. Put I, that password. I actually don't have the password. Then don't do anything, all right? Yeah, I'm not Just doing... Just be on the line. I didn't think I had a password right. on my computer. If I remember correctly, there wasn't a password set on the computer. So you don't have to. Uh, so it'd be kind of odd. You don't have to do... Okay, we just wait, just wait. Okay. All right. And it's my humble request, Miss Nancy, um, do not do anything. Now, all was right. That, from was, that, was, that without... you, was that your team that put a password on my computer? And, and do you think it was necessary to lock my computer in no, such no. a way that, I, well, that I, I can't access right, it? Because right, now right, that right. I feel like that's an invasion of my personal because space in terms of my computer, but, you know, I don't, think, yeah, I don't think you guys have the right to lock my computer, so I, I, if anything, I'd like to know what the password is, and if I may, as a humble request back at you, uh, can I have that removed? You just, I, I don't you think just it was appropriate. To, what I'm to listen to me, listen to me. I'm listening to listen you. Listen to me, please, please. Please listen to me. You yes, talk I'm, a lot. Well, please. I'm just trying to understand okay. the situation, and I don't, I don't understand why my speak. computer was locked. Is what give I was trying to say. To speak. Good job. All right. Yeah, I'm and listening to you. But why? Why listener. was it? Why was it? Do not be. Like why was it necessary speaker, okay? to be lock my computer? Listener. All right. Be a good listener. Okay. At this point of time. You have to yes. listen to me and I'm follow our instructions. Uh, I'm listening okay? to you, now, but may I ask a now, question in response, to, though? Why did you think it was necessary to lock out Hello, my computer to change the password? Just I didn't think that was necessarily a good listen. decision uh, in terms of something. why you locked my listen. computer, where I don't have access to it. All right. All right. All right. Just try to log into your bank and verify uh, all the not transactions. Not until the password uh, situation is set. This is, this is critical. This is more, this is a critical information for me. Uh, I need to know the password to my computer. It's my information, it's my computer. This is my livelihood because that you're messing you with the, right here. Listen, That's, listen, listen. I didn't because appreciate you got Microsoft the extra, adding a password onto my computer. Listen to me, listen to me. Listen, to yes. for the security purpose, right. we have locked well, the computer, the computer the, no, you the, won't able, the, you won't the, able the security to use purposes it. needs to be removed because, this instant because or else you got I, the 28,000. No, the, the right? security the 28, it needs 000. to be removed right now. It needs to be removed is what I'm trying to say. It needs okay, to be removed. Okay, just try to log into your bank first. Uh, that's uh, let us know. negative negative I, I i cannot log into my bank until this until this is removed from the computer as this is necessary for me that's to do my job and work i need to have that no, removed no. from my computer no, 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 no. No, no, no.
Okay, if you would be what so you have kind, to do if you would be so kind time, to remove the to password from listen my computer, that would be a listen pleasure for both of us. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. All right, to listen you. to me, please listen to me. <laughs> what do you need to do? You need to log into your bank. Uh, right, and that's a negative. Let us we, we have an option have before that. We have to take care of the option before that. As there, there is now a password on my account that needs to be addressed. So if you'd be so kind, I need, is in I your need account. the current password. You need to I need that. the current password or we're not getting anywhere. No, because at this point of time, we don't trust you. All right. You got an extra amount, 28,000. Well, that then is I, our I'm company so sorry. amount, right? Then I, for $28,000, so, I will lose the computer you, for that amount. Uh, unfortunately, your, I, was, your account I, I would have been happy to get you that moment, money, but it's I can't. In a moment, with, you will lose your account in a moment you will lose your account you will that's, not able to use your account you need fine. to understand that i've lost my account if i don't get my password back and it's a shame that i would have luckily uh, my company backs everything up on a cloud storage system so for the twenty eight thousand dollars uh, i will make a legal you case that you locked listen, my computer listen. and took if it for the cost of twenty eight thousand dollars then because this is this is unacceptable from a company of your to size me, to, to lock my listen, computer please, please to me. you need First, to find out to why me, your I'm server locked everything. the computer and added a password here because i never asked for that protection very good so if you'd be so kind first you listen to me all right i'm gonna answer everything we have an option we have we have goals here and and they need to be performed in an orderly okay. fashion what? and the first listen, orderly listen fashion to thing listen to do to is you, to unlock brother. to unlock the computer hey you bitch i would i would you advise you to me. settle down on the language i'm not cursing at you and i'm being very professional as you should be to me could nancy. you unlock put the code nancy. in there nancy put the code in there what do you had in the morning time nancy i had what a do you coffee. had in the morning time you had a coffee. Yes. All right. That's why you're you're talking and talking and talking. You have to listen to us, right? Oh, I'm listening to you. You also have to listen to me. That's 20, how conversations 28, are made. 28,000, 28, which is our company amount. You need to yes. understand that. We need to settle it right now as yes. quick as possible. And that's okay? fine. You For may that, settle that as soon as possible. As soon as right. we can get that password in there, we can settle the next thing. If you, if this you is a don't problem. listen, if, again, you're talking. Again, you're talking. If you don't settle it down right now, your account gonna cease. You will lose all your money, and it will goes in. Well, I'm not gonna lose uh, all my FTP money right now. I'm the right? only thing that I'm losing the, is my computer. Which, if you're gonna send me twenty eight thousand dollars, but then lock the my computer, I will send the. I will we send will you your money everything. back as soon as we you will unlock my lock computer. Everything. Please type yes, in the password. Yes, we will lock your life. You we will have not your do money. You thing. have uh, our money. Who do you think you are? You are you have... just a company, and I don't. I don't know who you think you are. Have you ever heard of the Better Business Bureau? Like you cannot. Add, you can't sit here and make threats like this. You would need to enter the password here, so I can change it for my computer. You do not have business locking my computer. We will block your life. We will block your life if you try to keep twenty eight thousand. What does What does that even mean to block my life? What does that mean? Could you yes, explain you to me what that do anything. means? We will make you disable. Did you get that? No, I didn't understand what you meant there. Just try to log into your bank and let us know have you received the twenty eight thousand or not. We have a steps That's it. we have steps that we need to follow and Don't this talk is the too first much. one. Don't talk too much. I, Just try I won't to log say into another thing bank. until this is fixed. No, we will not leave your computer because we you have our twenty eight thousand. All right. So we will then it sounds we like we have found you ourselves in a, a stalemate. It, until you make your move, I can't make my move. So either you put the password in here and yeah, I can change it to something that I know, or we do not move from this point. You have locked my computer and I either buy a new one or you, you enter the password and we move on with this progress. I, I cannot sit here and have you lock my computer. Absolutely not. Are you there with me? I am here with you, yes. Are you ready to listen to me? Or you just want to keep speaking? I won't say another word until this is taken care of. We can talk all we want, or we can talk as little as we want. You need to talk little. Then we will talk the little. Time you don't allow Please enter the password so I may change it before I check my bank account. Again, you need to let me speak. 
ओके हेलो आई वाज लेटिंग यू स्पीक नाउ यू वांट मी टू स्पीक आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड नहीं कैमरा खोलेंगे नहीं नहीं कैमरा खोलेंगे नहीं आई डोंट नो व्हाट कैन यू सी ऑन योर कंप्यूटर राइट नाउ टेल मी I'm looking at the password that you guys entered on my computer. I don't understand why. I don't know if it was the server that did this, but it needs to be changed. I please enter the password and I will enter a new password and then change it and then we can move on to the bank. I don't understand why this game is system. I don't understand. First you first you need to check your account you is the making, money has been given. You are not making the rules here. You either enter the password or hang up the damn phone. There's that simple as that. Okay, you hang up the phone. You hang up the phone, then we will take care with the IRS team. And take and care with the IRS. What kind of? What phone. are you taking care of hang the IRS? The you want to say that I owe back taxes or something? Because I pay my taxes. There's no information well, to involve the IRS at all. I am a standing citizen, and I, you know, I, I pay the my my pay my taxes just, just like anyone. I cannot help you any further. Hang up the call. Next call. Hang up. Call. 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 Mr. Pout, how may I help you? Ah, yes, I'm calling about a Walmart uh, email that I received today for a charge of eight hundred and forty-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents, and I was wondering if you can help me. I have the transaction ID here. Ah, uh, ma'am, could you please, ma'am, confirm me the transaction ID number, ma'am? Ah, it's going to be U as an umbrella eight T T F nine S one S B S X six L K I O. Okay. And what was the amount, ma'am? Nine hundred and forty-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. It was for a world around... pool. Okay, let me explain you, ma'am. First of all, ma'am, okay. let me explain you. Please do. Okay, uh, ma'am, will you please confirm me, ma'am? Have you ever buy something from Walmart, ma'am, of nine hundred forty-nine dollar ninety-nine cents, ma'am, from Walmart? <clears throat> No, you haven't buy anything no, from No sir, I haven't. Walmart. I I always shop at other places like Kmart. Okay, but ma'am, someone ma'am, not you ma'am. Maybe someone, possibly ma someone, but not to... me. It's I'm a little confused because uh, like let me explain you. I will explain yeah, you each and everything. I think of myself someone, as a slightly higher class of of human being because I shop at Target over okay. Walmart or Kmart. Okay, actually ma'am Actually, ma'am, someone, ma'am, are trying to misuse your personal information from Ohio, ma'am. You sa okay? You sound like that, a Walmart kind of guy. Or yeah. Sears, so maybe. I do believe, ma'am, you want to cancel this fraudulent purchase, ma'am, because you haven't buy anything from Walmart, Never. and also you want to block Never. all of them. Right. Who Never. are trying to misuse you? Okay. Yeah. So first of all, can you all, imagine? Can do, you imagine I'm... if my friend Rebecca now, if she caught wind that I was shopping at Walmart? Nothing wrong with it, okay? But you do know? Do you know where my status would fall? Quite low. No, Quite low. No need to. No need to worry about that, ma'am. Right now, ma'am, what I'm gonna do, ma'am, I'm going to simply connect you, ma'am, with our Walmart security server, ma'am. Oh, okay. And after that, we're gonna simply cancel this charge, okay, and block all of them. Just tell me one thing, ma'am. On which device, ma'am, you received this email? On your computer or laptop? On my computer. Laptop. And right now, ma'am, I do blue. Laptop. Yeah, laptop. Yeah. Are you in front of your laptop, right? Yes. Okay. Do one thing, ma'am. Just simply, ma'am. I want you to open up the Google Chrome browser, ma'am. Do you use Google Chrome? I do. Yes, sir. Yeah. Just open up the Google Chrome, ma'am. Okay. Okay. And now, ma'am, just hold on, ma'am. Right now, ma'am, what I'm going to do? I'm going to simply transfer this call, ma'am, to one of my senior manager, ma'am. Okay. They're gonna guide you, ma'am, how to cancel this fraudulent purchase. And how to block all of them? How does okay? any of this relate to Walmart? And how am I being? How? How? Why did I receive a charge for a whirlpool when I've never even shopped at this this location? I understand, ma'am. You don't have to worry about anything, ma'am. Okay. Right now, what I'm gonna do? I'm going to connect this call to my senior supervisor. They're gonna guide you further. Okay. Okay. Just be on hold. What? What is okay. his name? What was your name? Oh. 
Thank you for holding the line. My name is Eric Wilson. How are you doing today, ma'am? Eric Wilson, why am I being charged for a product at your store? Okay, ma'am. First of all, you need to understand that somebody compromised with your information and they just create a Walmart account online. And from that Walmart account, they are trying to make but why that am purchase. I receiving their emails for what they purchase? Uh, just give me off there. Because they probably punched in the wrong email address and I don't want to be I don't want to be getting notifications about what they're shopping with. God knows it's I'll a fool today, but it could be skimpies next time. And I don't want to know about somebody's skippy dippies, okay? I, I understand that. But right, you need to understand off, that. Get it off. Ma'am, listen to me. Don't don't shout on me, ma'am. Sorry, listen I do me. apologize. I'm, I'm not trying to take it out on you, Mr. Eric Wilson. I'm just saying, you know, okay. I don't want to I don't want to know about somebody's underwear being purchased or okay. if they get new okay. pairs of socks okay. because okay. one of them's got okay. a hole okay. in it. Because the dog was okay, let then, loose for one day and it decided to leave it uh, out and about and for the day and it chewed up everything. I don't need to know about what they're purchasing. Personally, I don't know these people and I don't care what they're doing. Okay, so I'll help you how you cancel it, okay? And cancel, cancel that charge. Remove it, because I don't see anything about removing the email Turn address the from this. The laptop Turn on, on your laptop. Okay. Now open a Google Chrome on your laptop. Open a Google Chrome. Okay, I got the Google Chrome open. And I do believe you have a Windows laptop. I do, yes, sir. Okay. Now on the Google Chrome search, just look on the very top. Do you see a address bar, a long search panel on the very top? I do, yes. Now just type in over there. G as in Gary. G as in Gary. H as in Henry. H as in Henry. E as in Eric. E as in Eric. That's your name. L as in Lima. Yes, is it weird name. using your own name as a way of like i always felt that to be kind of odd you know like if somebody's like jay is in jessica and i'm like that doesn't i, I just, don't like using you know what i mean i don't like using it personally myself just, just, if i may i just i'm not a big fan of that maybe you are i don't know everyone's different that's why i was what was the next one after that i have l hello yes hello me? who's this after e l as in lima then... Yes. P as in Peter. P as in Peter, okay. Then put a dot. Dot. Com. Then I -N -F -O info. Oh. No, no, no. Oh. No, no, no. Info. Uh, after dot. Yes. And then what after that? Dot what? No, just info dot. Or is it just after that? Is that it? No, no, no. That's it? Just info? Not, not info? Not any. G help. Not Listen info. to me very carefully. Don't use your, your mind because you don't have. Listen to me very carefully. Follow my instruction, all right? What you have typing over there? Just tell me. Uh, G help dot info dot. That's what I have written okay. down so okay. far. That's that's where yeah. I've come to stop from there. there right there after the dot. Uh, after info, you don't need to put any dot. You just so just erase the dot. There. Just erase the dot and leave it info dot info. Yes. Then G Perfect. help dot info. That's it. Oh, okay. Got it. <clears throat> then click on enter. All right. I did just that. Now what comes up on your screen? Uh, it says welcome. Join with a code. Is that correct? Exactly. Okay. Yes. And right do you have now, the code, or do I, I have it on the email or something? No. I will I oh, okay. will provide you the code right okay. now. Just what's give me a moment. It just could type, be just yeah. type in over what's, there. Okay. Seven what's, five seven five five. Okay. Got what it. you type in, just tell me. Seven five five I, I got a I got a I got the arrow popping up. Is that is that correct? Click on arrow. Click on arrow, got it. Okay. Now, once you click on arrow, now just look on the left-hand side bottom corner. Do you see something pop up on the left-hand side bottom corner? Pop up where? On the left bottom corner. Do you see support.client.exe on the left bottom corner? Yes. You want me to click there? Do you see that on the left-hand side bottom corner, support.client.exe? I do, yes. You want me to click on that? Should I yeah, click on that? Yeah, double click on it. Double click on it. Okay. Now, what can you see on your screen? Uh, it's... It's installing something? Uh, give me okay. one second. Okay. It says open... Once... Just double click on that, support.client.exe. 
Hello? Yeah, hello? Yeah, what exactly do you see over there? It says join successful. Okay, right yeah. now you are connected successfully with our security server of Walmart right now. Okay. So what do you need to do? First of all, you need to open up your email, the email which you got, okay? Okay, absolutely can do. Open up the email, just open a new tab and open up your email. All right, I have the What's email the here pulled up. Okay, now you need to open that email which you got from our company. I got it right here, yep. Okay. Now what exactly do you see over there? Uh, it's the email. Well, I don't know what I'm looking at here. Just give me a moment. Let yeah. me check. Just sure give thing. me a moment. Yeah, all right. Just bear with me, all right? Yeah, no, no, take your time. That's fine. All right, thank you. Actually, we are just connect you to our server. That's why it will take some time. Uh, that's that's totally fine. That makes it makes. Sense. Yeah. Just bear with me. Yeah, no, no, take your time. Um, I'm just looking at the email. Is there anything on the email that I need you to 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 report to you, or or what? How does this work? Right now, it's uh, what can you see exactly? Just to let me know. I'm just looking at the email. It says I have a whirlpool purchase here. Okay, then just do one thing. Close the email. Close the email. Okay. Now open a Google Chrome. Open a new tab. Okay, the Google Chrome is open. Yes, sir. Open a new tab. You open it. Yeah, the new All tab's right. open. All right. Just bear with me. Take your time. All right. Are you with me? Yes, yes, I'm with you. I'm just putting you on hold for a moment, okay? okay? I'm just talking with my accounts team. Just be on hold for a moment, all right? Okay, sounds good. Yeah, hello? Yeah, hello? Are you lady? Excuse me? Hello? Yeah, just bear with me. I'm just talking with my account team. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. I just was wondering what I'm looking if I'm looking for something on the email or Okay, now what exactly do you see on your screen? Can you please tell me? The email. Do you what what do you see right now on your screen? Just tell me that. I'll go to my desktop. Is that better? Do you see something changes on your screen? Nothing. No, no changes whatsoever. I see nothing. Okay, just bear with me. No yeah. problem, okay? I'm just on the wallpaper. Yeah, hello. This is Eric Wilson. We got disconnect. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. I have a, I have a Windows working on updates. Do not turn off the system uh, Okay, okay, okay. No problem. Just okay. bear with me. Just bear with me. Just bear with me. Yeah, absolutely. Just bear with me, all right? I'm just working on it. Okay, you're... Wait, excuse me? You're what on it? Uh, is that appropriate? All right. Right now, what can you see on your screen? Um, uh, 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 a squirrel. All right. So, actually, we are providing you the security right now. So, that is the reason you are seeing that working on update, okay? okay. So, first of all, you need to open up the Google Chrome once again. And once you open, just do let me know. Okay, the Google Chrome is open. Did you open Google Chrome? Yes, sir, I did. All right. Now, once you open the Google Chrome, now go to on the top search and just type in over there. Yeah. T as in Tom. T. I as in ice cream. I. N as in Nancy. N. Y as in yellow. Y. Then U as an umbrella. Um, U as an umbrella. What is happening in the background uh, there? 
actually all the colleagues are working over here, so that's the reason there's a little bit noise. Oh, okay. okay sorry for it, that. Would it be possible to go then, to a quieter area of the... Okay. Now, after you, R as in Roger. R. L as in Lima. L as in Lima. Then dot com. Dot com. Put a forward slash. What is that? Forward slash. Forward slash. It's a sign. It's a sign. Just wait. I can do it for you. Just give me a moment. Okay. You need to put a forward slash. Do you know I, the sign, the forward slash? I did forward slash. That's, I don't know. Okay, what else. okay. Just wait. Right now, once again, I'm going to working on update. Don't do anything. All okay. right. Yeah, I'm not just doing give anything. Yep, yep. It's pretty loud there. Is it possible to slow down the volume in the background? I'm just sorry. They are my colleagues. Could you tell them to just calm down a bit? I beg your pardon. What exactly do you see? Uh, I see the, the. I'm guessing this is the the form to fill out, right? Yes, the Walmart just, forms come up on your screen. Okay. Should I just so read what this you need out? to do? You need to simply fill the form. Okay, just. Scroll oh, okay. down and fill the form by your own. Yeah, it's and if you need any help, you can tell me. Just scroll it down. You will get to see the information. You just simply put the information to that form. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to do a quick read through. The Walmart refund and or fraudulent and fraud form. I'll submit uh, this form to the required information. Oh, okay. I guess. Now, just, just simply out. put all the information, whatever they are asking you, and don't tell me anything. Do it oh, from you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I can do this. All right. What did you say your name was? Uh, I'd ask you there. Beg your pardon? No, I was asking, what's your name? What's my name? Yeah, what was your name? My name is Eric Wilson. I tell you before. Uh, the beginning right. of this call. You did tell me before. That's correct. I'm so yeah. sorry. I do apologize, Mr. Eric Wilson. You did no tell problem. me. That's right. Uh, oh. It's asking for the, the yeah, sorry. fraudulent reason. Yeah, just uh, look, uh, right over there, it's a fraud charge. It's not done by you. Oh, okay, just put down a fraud charge, right? That's it, that's it. Just fraud charge. Okay, that's it. fraud charge. Fake name. And what was the, the fraud amount, which was, uh, I do believe it was $849.99. And I have your name, Eric. Yes, Eric Wilson. Wilson. Right, my name. Perfect. Over there. Do you have a badge Perfect. number? Do I put down anything like that, or? No, just simply click on next. Oh. All right. Then once you click on next, what can you see after that? Um. Uh, thank you. We are uh, processing your request. Uh, do I have to re reference the ID number here? Yeah. Kindly for the okay. verification of your fraud and to accept the payment, please log into your online internet banking account and check your bank statement for the approval of your payment. Okay, um, click on submit. Note, uh, kindly do not log into your bank account. Then we blah, blah, blah. Okay, submit. Click on submit. Okay, submit. Yeah, submit. All right. Now, what it says? Uh, we uh, to accept the payment, please log into your online internet banking account and check your bank statement uh, for the approval of your payment uh, and then the number, yes. the reference number. Do I have to write down the? Do I have to write down the reference number by any chance? Uh, I have a WLM four four X two five N one three two five. I'll provide. You have that. That's perfect. I was just making sure. I, I, I just want to make sure if I. Need to write it down, or you had to write check. it down, or if they needed to write it down, I don't know who needs to write that down, but I just wanted to make sure that, that wasn't problem. important or not. Cool. Okay. We just do one thing log into your bank and check do you receive that funds or not? The refund money, all right? I'm uh, on the line with you. Yeah, I can, I can do that. Oops. All right. Also, by the way, if I may say, uh, you have a very pleasant voice to listen to, it reminds me of, uh, like dying birds. Once you're done, just do let me know, ma'am. Sure. All right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Just bear with me. I'm going to hold, just do it from you, man. 
Everyone in chat has a very nice voice. Everyone that's watching this video has a nice voice. Uh, the only people that don't have a nice voice is Eric Wilson. If you see any refund Where's money my over refund? there... Where's my refund, Eric? Where's my refund? Don't you see the refund? Don't you see the refund money over there? No, I don't. Okay, now don't just give me a moment. What I'm going to do, I think we are facing some problems. So I'm going to simply transfer this call to my account team. He will help you right now. All right. Okay. I'm going to transfer the call. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah do that. Thanks for holding this line. This is Mark William from the billing department. So how are you doing today? I'm doing good, Mark Williams. How are you? Bye, Mark Williams. Can you please do let me know, like, do you share your personal details to any unknown person, like your friends or your family members? No, of course not. Personally, okay. I don't even shop at the Walmart, so I'm not even sorry. How can I share my personal information if I don't even shop there? Okay, and can you please do let me know, like, your uh, like, do you ever share your details to any unknown person? Why like would I share my details to an unknown person when I don't even shop at the Walmart? How can I share something I don't have? You're literally taking nothing and giving it into nothing. It's false information. There's no, there's no, it's fraudulent. It's fraudulent that somebody put this on my account. They used my email address when they made their damn Walmart account. Okay, and what was the last time you visited the Walmart store? Never. Okay. And can you please do let me know? Just hold on, give me a quick moment because in this point of time, we're going to provide you some security in your computer as well, okay? Uh, from the Walmart? Yeah, we go no, not from the Walmart. I'm going to provide you the security in your computer, okay? Yeah, sure, but what, what, why does Walmart provide security? Do you see that the full system scanner is still going on into your computer? Yeah, I do, but why? But why? Because for your security, we are providing you this kind of security in your computer. Because if we see any kind of jumps or anything like that, we can easily block that person from your computer. Okay? But why? Why is it there? Okay, can you please confirm me your full name, ma'am? Jessica Wilson. Jessica Wilson. Okay, and are you a YouTuber, ma'am? Uh, is there a popular Jessica Wilson on YouTube? No, no, no. Like, uh, like, do you ever, uh, like, uh, did you ever, uh, like, uh, do you have any YouTube channel? Um, I don't think so. And your YouTube channel is starting with your, uh, like, the name of your YouTube channel is starting with R. What do you mean? Uh, Are you playing with me right now? I'm not playing with you. What is your YouTube? Yeah, he he caught it. Jessica Jessica Wilson caught out. Yeah, he he got it from that. Thank you for calling and support. This is Jennifer. How can I help you? Um, hello, Jennifer. I'm calling in regards to this is uh for the Geeks uh, Care Online. I'm looking for uh some computer assistance. Okay, can you please help me out, ma'am? What exactly you want? I'm looking for like a computer update or like some repairs on my computer. I'm having some issues lately and I was wondering if it, you could assist me. Okay, yeah, sure ma'am. But for that, you have to share the computer screen with me. So do you have the computer with you right now? I, I, yes, I do. I, I have the computer right now as we speak. Okay. And which computer is it ma'am? Like is it a Windows or is it an Apple? Uh, it is a Windows. It's a bit of an older computer. I'm trying to restore it for my mother to use. Uh, and I was wondering if you could help me with this. I, I don't mind paying a little bit of a cost. I I've been messing with this and I no keep problem, getting pop-ups and I, I think it's in a bad state. And I just, yeah, I'm just looking for some help on it. She only needs no problem, it to really just, uh, just check emails and things like that. She doesn't do much on the computer, so it doesn't have to be like, you know, working you know, great. It, it's not, you know, she doesn't have to do any gaming or anything, you know, nothing like that. I, I don't even think she watches videos online and no streaming, just, it's just emails for her business and such. And that's all she needs it for. So it's an older computer, but I was just wondering if all you right. could help me with that. No problem, ma'am. We'll Perfect. just check it out. Okay. 
we'll just see if it's possible depending on the situation of the computer all right so you can do this way ma'am can you please go ahead and open up a google page on the computer can you please do that yeah absolutely i can do that okay so on the google you need to type a website it's going to be www. okay www. Uh, support, that's S-U-P-P-O-R-T, support. Support, okay. Dot me, that is M for Michael, E for Edward. Dot support me. Support dot me. Okay. Right. And enter that. Enter, okay. Okay. And what does it say now, ma'am? Um... I'm looking at it here. Mm, it's it's uh, log me in. Dot me, yeah, right? log me in one, two, three. Is that? Yeah, click on it. Okay. Click on it. Give me one second here. The computer is extremely slow. You you have to bear with me on this. No problem. No problem. No problem. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, I think I have it here. So, um, okay, okay, yeah, I have a, it's asking for a code. Let me give you that, ma'am. Uh, the code is 585. 585. Zero six four. Zero six four. Okay. And start the download. Uh, give me one second. It, the computer's acting up again. I, like I said, this is. Uh, all right. Okay. Start download. It says this code doesn't exist. Is that correct? Uh, uh, it's 585064. Okay, I think it's downloading, ma'am. So if you look on the bottom of your screen, you will be able to see a file downloading. Do you see that? It's on the bottom of your computer screen. Um, I don't see that. Um, it says... Um, okay, tell me. Uh, tell me, ma'am, which browser you're using. You're using Google Chrome, right? Yes, Google Chrome. Okay, now look on the yeah. Now look on the top right corner, ma'am. Do you see three vertical dots in the top right corner? The three vertical dots, right? I do not see that. Click on the three dots. No. Okay. Yeah, it's not. It doesn't. Um, it's... Then do this way, ma'am. What was that? Uh, okay, do the same. I'm look on your keyboard. On the keyboard, there is a CTRL key, right, in the extreme at bottom corner. So press and hold the CTRL along with letter J. Okay. Well, I mean, I have a message here that states um, that it didn't download. Probably was the code wrong is what I'm asking. Uh, no, no, code is right, ma'am, because it is downloading. Well, it didn't download. That's so what I was trying to tell you. It didn't, end, okay. it didn't download. Okay, then do the same. I'm, uh, can you please put in a new code? I'll give you a new code, okay? Perfect. That sounds great. Yep. And you can write in the code. Just give me one second. Ma'am, I'm going to send you a request, okay? Let me know. Okay. Yeah, because I never got the... code the, is uh, uh, 470. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on one second. Okay. What was the code again? 122. 470. 122. Okay. And start the download. Okay. What was the code again? One more, one more time. 
four seven zero four seven zero two one two two got it one two, start downloading it, it worked this time right. we got it we got it download. perfect right okay so open the downloaded file ma'am okay it's downloading now give me one second like i said this computer is slow um all right it looks like it's downloading um can you open that yeah i'm opening it now downloads Okay, log me in. Got that. Got it now. Okay. And now, is that, did that work? It's actually working now, and I'm sending you a request, ma'am. It's going to come to you by the name of Jennifer. Please click on OK, allow or yes. You'll be getting it in a while now. Now. All right, I think I got it. Oh, my goodness. I got it, ma'am. Like I said, it's an older computer, but it's a bit. <laughs> I, I, I was not expecting that old, actually. Yeah, like I said, it's it's okay. a little bit older, but it's okay. still a it's still a decent, you know. Like it just these keep popping up. Uh, I I keep removing them, and they just keep giving me this. Stuff. Like I said, it's. All she needs to do is check her emails, and it, that's all that she needs to really do is just check her emails, and that's all we needed to do. But I don't know if there's, like, a way to get this. Like, it just says, you know, Internet Explorer stopped working, and just, like I'll I said, it's it up, constantly, constantly. I'll check it, ma'am. Don't worry. Yes. No worries. No worries. They can leave that as it is. Okay. So many damn inconsistencies here. Ma'am, actually, I'll tell you one thing. This is a not a original Windows that's on her computer. She's using Windows 10 on her computer, okay? And uh, well, it upgraded one? from Windows, Windows 10, 10 to well, like it originally started here, and we downloaded the uh, the Windows 10. You know how uh, Windows uh, upgrades your system, uh, and it's. It asked me, do I want to install it? And as it installed it, it never really got past this. So I'm not entirely sure what it means when it, like, it, it tried to upgrade to Windows 11 as well, and it never did anything there either. Uh, the upgrade, so, like, if I go to start and I go to, like, uh, Windows Update, you know, if I click on that, and it, it tries to update, but then it's, it, it just stops, and it never goes past. There's no bars, nothing loads up, and then you get this unavailable to connect, and then you just click OK, and then nothing happens. You know what I mean? Unable to connect, please try again later. I'm, I got it. And, and then the window I just got it, you know, breaks, um, and then it crashes again, and then it, it goes back here, and it does... You know what I mean? I got it, Mom. Okay. Give me one second. Okay, yeah, it just continues to, it never updates is the problem. I need your help here, ma'am. Okay. Because, like I said, all she needs to do is be able to check her email, so it's... Mom, we can please put in our e no, name, phone, email. Can okay. please do that? Yeah, I can absolutely do that. I'm sorry? No, that's fine. Do you want me to use my name, or do I need to put my mom's name? You can, you can, put, you can put your name here, ma'am. Okay. Uh, 
Um, okay. And what should I put? You can put your phone number as well. What now? should I put down for the uh, the issue description? Should I just kind of put down like? You can you can leave that issue as it okay. is now. Okay, leave the issue as it is. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, and now put your phone number here. Please put um, your phone number. Sure, absolutely. Thank you. No, 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 no. Thank you. I appreciate you helping me with this. Um, uh, my mom's gonna be surprised when I. I mean, I could just get her a new computer, but I kind of want to restore this one. She's had it for years, so. Just give me one second, ma'am. Okay? Yeah, absolutely. Just give me one moment, please. Sure thing. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. You're welcome, ma'am. I love this version of Windows. It is the best. Yeah, if you say something like that, they definitely would hang up. Let's see how this rides out. Right, why not, right? Why not? I think it's a fun little prank, you know, and it's it's pretty harmless. I think it's fun. It wastes their time, who cares? We have a good laugh with it. No, I would request you to leave the computer with me. Okay, let me work on it. Let me call you back, all right? Um, yeah, is it, how long will that take? And that's going to take time, okay? I would say approximately 15 or 30 minutes to diagnose the computer, okay? Uh, and, could you uh, tell me... I'll give you a call back in case uh, I need out, your help. Out of just curiosity, yeah. is this fixable? Uh, is this a possibility that you can get this fixed? Or is it something where, like, I mean... We can try that, ma'am. Because, I mean, I, I would like Prima, to know price ranges, it, too, because, I mean, like, if it's going to be something where it's, yeah. you know, more affordable to fix this, then I think that's the best. Gonna, yeah. Either you can go with the one-time fix, ma'am, okay, in the one-time fix. It's just that we'll fix this issue for once, okay, but in case you, you get the problem again, so you have to pay again for that, okay, so that's going to be 179 okay, and inclusive taxes is going to be $199, okay, that's going to be inclusive taxes. I mean, if you want, you can two hundred dollars. Okay. That's for the one-time fix. Right. Uh, now, for a computer that kind of has a little bit of an issues, what do you guys have for? Like you said, uh, there's a year policy here. What is that year policy? Ma'am, the yearly is two ninety. So one year is two ninety nine. Okay, in two ninety nine, you will be sec your securities will be covered. The issues will be all taken care of. All right. Okay. So yeah, if I could go uh, for the. the uh, if I could go for the one year, poss possibly that sounds that sounds like a good value for the. To, like I said, my mom has a lot. Right, uh, yeah. She really likes this computer. It's something of her favorite. Um, if you can get this, I don't know if this is so something like you know something was. Down. Well, I'm sorry. Um, I didn't mean to close that. Uh, is it possible if we can go so for the, the one year? Say again. Yes, mommy can do that. You okay. have the one year for two ninety nine ninety nine. Is that what you said, or is it one ninety nine? Right, ma'am. Right. One ninety nine. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. It's the other one. Two ninety nine. Yeah. Right, ma'am. Two ninety nine. Right, ma'am. And what did you say the the for the one time fee was uh, one ninety nine was the one time fee. Yes, ma'am, and it's inclusive taxes, okay? But in, in anything, you know, in any scenarios, anything happens again, so you have to, like, it's going to be just a one-time fix, okay? So the the one time is going to be uh, $199.99, if that's, is that correct? Right. Okay, right. and do you, do you offer, like, uh, any anything to kind of... I don't know if like we can sign up for her. Like, if you guys offer any discounts or anything like that, I don't know if this is a one-time fee or if it, if anything's included. But I don't I don't mind if it's. Is there any way you can give me like a slight discount on this? Uh, like, obviously, it's an older computer and uh, two hundred dollars for an older computer. I don't know if that is just standard or if there's a way we can get it down to like. Actually, no. 
actually no, ma'am the windows needs to be reinstalled on the computer and the windows alone alone uh, you know cost you 100 dollars okay Correct. So the windows needs to be reinstalled the security needs to be installed okay the software needs to be updated if, if if it was just a cleanup issue i would have already done that okay i would have given you the discount but it's just not the uh, you know fixing part you have to go ahead and make sure that the uh, you know the browsers are working fine okay then drivers so are working okay you're kind of saying that this is unfixable again. and you need to just start over is what you're saying right no i'm not saying that i'm saying that we have to work on it okay i'm not oh, saying okay. it's not unfixable, well then if that's we the case uh, can i do the one-time charge for 199.99 i think that's perfect i i'm i'm totally okay with that uh the 200 dollars, it's it's still a little cheaper yeah, than buying can, a brand new computer you can, is it possible to just go for that you can do that actually you can do that okay but as i told you okay if the issues occur again okay so you have to pay again for that and that's of no use okay uh, that's what i'm trying to say is so i, I, I could uh i could absolutely uh set this up and have this uh like the 200 dollars is not not a problem i can do that as long as it's possible to get this fixed and working i i'm okay with that all right not a problem so you can yeah. do that one okay so let me just do this. So let me go ahead and work on it. Let me call you back. All right. Uh, okay. And how long? You said it'll take about an hour or two. How long is it going to take to work on it? Yes, ma'am. It's going to take approximately an hour. An hour. Right. Okay. All right, ma'am. So should I give you a call back? I'm going to do this. Should I go ahead and start the work? Yeah, I suppose that's fine. Uh, I just, yeah, that's totally fine. I just was wanting to see the state of this computer to be in a better state than it is right now. Obviously, it's in a, in a, it's in a rough st state as of right now. Okay, so. Yeah, just let's do that. Uh, let's do that. Okay. All yeah, right. That's totally so makes I'm sense to me. I'm going to work on it. I'm going to give you a call back. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you for connecting to. Thank you for connecting to the meeting. I'm going to help you. Uh, hello. Yeah. How can I help you, ma'am? Um, yes, I'm calling in regards to a, a PayPal account here uh, that I have uh, an invoice number. Uh, it's going to be PP. Uh, oh my gosh. The, so it's PP53264888. And it's a charge for $523. Are you in a storm right now? Can you help me out with the invoice number, ma'am? That's, that's exactly what I just read to you. Was the invoice number? Yeah. I okay, can read let it. Let me check in my system. Then I'll let me check in my system. Then I'll let you know about it. All right, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Well, I can see over here, ma'am, that you've been charged for four hundred forty-nine dollars for purchasing the order that you have security. So, do you want to cancel the order or do you want to continue with it, ma'am? If possible, could I get it can? If possible, could I get it canceled? Okay, so I'm going to connect you with our cancellation team right now. So your order is going to get canceled and we'll be going back. Could you speak up a little bit? I can hardly hear you. Ma'am, we are going to cancel the order for you, okay? So, are okay. you sitting in front of your computer? Are you sitting in front of your computer right uh, now? Yes, I am. I am. I am. This side rain. Uh, this raining. This uh, side. This side rain. Yeah, I, I am. I am here. I can. I'm in front of the computer. Okay. So, uh, do you have a Google Chrome on your computer? I do. Yes, sir. Please open your Google Chrome, ma'am. Oh, okay, it's open. Okay, now on your Google Chrome, on the very top, type in over there, B as in Bravo. B? Yes. Then, H as in Henry. H as in Henry? Yes. Then, E as in Echo. 
He is an Is it? Okay, he is an echo. L as in lemur. Come on, get to the scrat. Yes, then L as in lemur. Okay, L as in lemur. Then P as in Peter. P as in Peter. Then S as in Sam. S as in Sam. Then put a dot, put a period. Dot. Then write C as in Charlie. C as in Charlie. Then again write C as in Charlie. Two C's as in Charlie? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Then press enter. Here enter from your keyboard. Okay, and the keyboard, I press enter on the keyboard. It's asking for a join with code. Do you have that code or do, is it on the email? Well, I'm going to give you a code right now, ma'am. Oh, okay. It will be an online secure code for you. Are you ready for the code? Yeah, I'm ready for the code anytime. All right, I'm going to give you a code right now, ma'am. So just hold on for a moment. Okay. Yep, I'm holding on. Hold on for dear life from that okay. hurricane that's hitting you. Sorry? Refund! No, sorry, guys. No, I was talking to the television. Okay, the code is 38861. 333 or 8838? 388? 388? 388? 388? 388? 388? 388? 388? 388? 388? 388? 388? Um, you close. No, you I, close I, it? it's downloading. It's well, it was downloading. This is joining session. It, I think it just obliterated itself. Can I just do this again? Perfect. Key you, five. You... We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Can you see support client over there? Yeah, I see it. Please double click on that and make that file open. And once it will open, you will see yes over there. Can you see uh, it? You have successfully connected to your session, is that right? Yeah, so right now, ma'am, what you can uh, do, ma'am, see, be handy with a paper and a pen, okay? We are going to, uh, like, oh, on your computer, there will be a re right. refund link is going to pop up, all right? Uh, there will be some refund number, so just okay. hold on for a moment, you don't have to worry. And are you handy with a paper and a pen? Uh, I I am I am handy with a, a pen and paper. Yeah, I have I have a couple sheets of paper right. here in front of me. Yeah. So what can you see on your computer right now? Can what am you I, tell me? Yeah, I have a, I, uh, on the computer on the paper. Nothing's written on the paper. It's blank. On on your computer, ma'am. Okay, we're not doing the paper. Got it. Um. Uh, let's see. It's um. Let's see, I'm looking at the, the form here. I'm thinking this is the right form, right? This is the, the cancellation form. All right. So just uh, fill out the form, ma'am. Oh, okay. Complete filling out the form. Start filling out the form right now. Okay. Okay. And what happens... And once you... Oh. If you have any problem while filling out the form, ma'am, you can ask me, okay? I'm here with you. Okay, can All I right? ask why it's, uh... So what is, uh, what is the Better Business Bureau, uh, what is this right here? It's, uh, you, you affiliated with every, the Better Business Bureau? What does that every mean? Company, every company in the United States work on the Better Business Bureau. Okay. Oh, okay, so it just lets you know that you guys are working under the Better Business Bureau and you guys are following yes, their guidelines. Yes, exactly, and, okay. yes. Can I yes. get you your name? I told you, ma'am, already. My name is Alan. It was hard to hear you. It sounded like a wind tunnel before, so I don't think that's fair to say. My name is Alan, ma'am. A-L-A-N, Alan. Okay, I got it. All right, now fill out the details on your computer and fill it out and submit it. Okay, yeah, I got it. Can you see the fraud number? Note down, note down the fraud number on a piece of paper. Okay, just write down the fraud number. 
Yeah, on a piece of paper. Sign it over. Okay, with well, a fraud number, is, do I just write down Chase as well? Or just the number? Yes. Okay. Uh, the whole uh, whole number, including the name of the bank. Okay, I wrote that down. All right. Now, what uh, can you see over there? It says log into your bank account to authorize the fraud. That means, ma'am, you're going to get the refund link on your bank account. Okay, so you just need to go ahead and log into your bank and accept oh. the link from your end. All right? Sure thing. I can do that. Sure, ma'am. I'm waiting. You just log in and just let me know that you have accepted the link. Okay. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. I can do that. Um, All right. Sure. All right. And what am I, where am I accepting this at? Yeah, it will come up. Uh, on your computer screen, so you just give me a moment, ma'am. Okay, okay, yeah. So it hasn't come up yet. Yeah, we are working on it, ma'am. So what exactly you can see on your computer screen? Can you just tell uh, me? It just says updating. Okay, it means your account is updating right now, so you just give me a moment. Sure thing. Okay? Yeah, absolutely. What is your name? My name is Alan, ma'am. Both of you guys are named Alan? Sorry? Both of you are Alan? Yes, ma'am. Right now I have a word with you and I've already told my name. Oh, you just sound extremely different. What's your last name? Parrish. Alan Parrish. Parrish. And how long does this normally take uh, to update? Uh, probably two to three minutes. Two to three minutes? Okay, fair enough. Sorry? I, I just said two to three minutes. That's fine. That's good? Yeah, that's fine. So how's your day been? How is my day? Yeah, how's your day? No, I'm fine, ma'am. Anything interesting happening uh, over the weekend or tonight or anything like that? Uh, first of all, I don't have any plans. None at all? How come? Sorry? I said, how come? Because I haven't made any plans. Why have you not made any plans? <laughs> it's all about the working schedule. Oh, okay. You have one of those working schedules where they don't really line up with uh, doing anything in the morning and then doing anything in the afternoon, right? Like, it's kind of one of those, like, midday shifts where it kind of feels like it eats up the morning and it eats up the afternoon. You kind of just go home and rest, but the morning you kind of prepare to go to work. Those are the worst shifts, yeah. I, I may say. I, I prefer either a good morning shift or a good, a, like, late at night shift. I think those are the best. Because then this way you feel like you get everything done and then you got the rest of the day or or you have the, the whole day and then you get ready for work. I think those are the best shifts. Exactly. So what exactly you can see on your computer screen? Um, I don't understand. Why was I charged for the Norton? Because there is a charge has been made, ma'am. That's the reason. No, I know, but I thought I filled out the form to be canceled, not charged. No, you will get back the refund right now. Right oh, now, oh, right perfect. Up. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just wondering why. Okay, I thought I filled out the form and then got charged for it. I was like, I wanted to cancel and not get charged. Okay. So, do you have a pen and a paper handy with you? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, first of all, what you can do, you can write down the available balance in a piece of a paper of your checking account balance. So, when we were going to transfer the money, you need to tally the balance, whether your balance got increased or not. Okay. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh... So once you make a note of it, let me know. Just give me one second here as I uh, jot it down. You wrote it down? No, 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 no. I'm writing it down right now as we speak. Okay. All right, I got it. I wrote okay. down my checking and savings accounts, both. You don't As need well... to tell me anything, ma'am. That's your oh. personal information. No, no, no. I'm not telling you what it is. I just told you I wrote it down. Also, I wrote okay. down the total the... amount as well. Yeah. So you will see the same blue screen right now. 
it means we are on the process to transfer the funds. Oh, so what okay. exactly you can see on your computer screen? Working on updates, do not turn off your system is what I can see right now. Okay. It will take five to six minutes and almost all will be get done. Okay. Sounds perfect to me. You don't, uh, have, you don't have any plan this weekend? Um, I actually do have some plans this weekend. Yeah, I'm kind of glad you uh, brought it up. I'm actually going uh, with some friends to a hot air balloon. Uh, we're going to go up into the hot air balloons and play paintball. Uh, they have a, a session down there in, uh, in Northern California. We're going to go take that, uh, take that up and just kind of do some paintballing up in the air together. Okay, you're still working or you're retired, ma'am? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm I'm currently working uh, field exercise training and such like that. You know, um, it's not it's not too exciting. I, I launch weather balloons in random locations, uh, kind of like a okay. Yeah, I work in the back ends of a, a news sta uh, station, so it's kind of like just sending up weather balloons and just getting the forecast for the California area. I could not understand. Where where do you work, ma'am? California. Uh, California. Yeah. No, California, I know. Uh, California and which company? I told you I work for the news station there. Oh, news station. Yeah, 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 the news station there. I work as the the weather balloon operator, so we kind of go out to, like, remote locations and send up weather balloons to get uh, predictions on weather and stuff. It's not it's not the greatest, okay. but it's, it's obviously something that we can... Um, you know, just get forecast on weather. It's basically you just send up a bunch of weather balloons. You get the forecast. You get the readings. You write down the readings. You send them into the uh, you know the office. They make the prediction. I don't mm -hmm. even get to do anything. You know, it's just kind of launch of weather balloons. Write down what the readings are. Bring the weather balloon back down. Send the information in, okay. and they write it all down. Uh, the information gets broadcast back over, and I you know go home. Oh, I got it. But I figured I would go into a hot air balloon this weekend, as in it's, uh, it's, I always send up the balloons, but I'm never in the balloons. So it'd be kind of nice to be in a hot air balloon and just kind of, and the paintballing is just a, an added bonus. You, you basically, everybody goes up in a hot air balloon and then you get paintballs and you kind of, you know, it's, it's like a game to see whose balloon goes down first. Oh, yeah, I got it. Yeah, it's very, very fun. Have you ever gone? Oh uh, no, I haven't tried that. Yeah, I I strongly recommend you try it. Uh, super fun, super safe. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I will try it. Yeah, absolutely. If you are telling me, I'd love to try it. Yeah, no, you're, I, you're, I, you're recomm I you would know, you're recommending it. me. Yeah, I would just avoid the power lines. That's all I can recommend. You know, it's a, a hot, obviously a hot air balloon. Have you ever gone up uh, in any kind of skydiving or anything like that? Sorry, where? Like, have talking? you ever been skydiving or anything of that nature? Any up high? Uh, believe me that skydiving is my wish that I will do skydiving in one day, hopefully. In one day? Um, it, usually yeah. it is a one day event. Um, normally know, there's it, no, there's no, yeah, no, there's no, there's no preparation for, you don't skydive for days, like that would be dangerous. It would kind of, you probably would get. Yeah, I know it very well. Uh, it's a training, uh, we need to take training for right. the skydiving and each and everything. I know that. I've done it before, it's, uh, it's very exciting. I, I, I recommend everyone do it at least once. No, I, would, I never done that, believe me. Yeah, I kind of, uh, I had this uh, imaginary, uh, well, I had this idea in mind when I went skydiving. I, I collected a bunch of, like, uh, acorn seeds, and I, I, you know, put them all over inside the parachute and inside my mouth and all that stuff, and basically as soon as I was skydiving, I just launched nuts everywhere. Oh. It looked like a dancing, like, uh, you know, just nuts everywhere. Maybe I'm crazy, I don't know. You should try it. You done skydiving? I have, yeah, that's what I was trying to say, is I have done, I have done skydiving, is what I'm saying. Oh. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, like.
like a nut launcher kind of thing. So where, uh, where you have done your skydiving? In the USA or outside the USA? In the USA. In, in, in USA where? Well, I did it in, uh, I was traveling over to, over to about the, the New England area and I did some skydiving over in that area. And I also did some skydiving in uh, Florida as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. What, what, uh, have you considered any, uh, skydiving areas? I mean, I suppose in California, they probably, you're in California, I suppose, right? No, I'm in Florida. Florida. I'm sure there's some, yeah, you could find, the weather's a little rocky in Florida, so you might want to check out, uh, as it rains so often there, you might want to just check with the, the, but I'm sure you could find a place that you can get some good skydiving there. I will, I will Google it. I will find each and everything. Oh, of course, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, is the is the system almost done updating? It's still it's still updating on my end. I don't know if uh, how yeah, you minutes. have a few ETA, few oh, a few minutes. more minutes. Okay, just don't know if you have an ETA yeah. on how long it's gonna take. So because which, the uh, system is slow. That oh, it's that's fine. The yeah, reason it's an older computer. That. So have you, have you, since you're in Florida, have you had the chance to see the, the mighty orange tree while you were there? Yeah. You have? Perfect. Oh my gosh. What did you think of it? It's good. It, just good. That's, that's your statement is it's good. Oh my yeah, God. I thought it was that, magnificent. That, it's, that, that, how can you not, that, how can what? you not fall over and just like, uh, and, and it's, and it's all of, you know, just a, it's a, it's a 300 foot yeah. orange tree. I'm sorry? I said, how can you not fall over in its all? It's a 300-foot orange tree. See, first of all, uh, I'm working each and every day, and I am, you no, know, I no, don't get a chance to do it. No, I mean, but you just said you saw it. That's what I'm saying. How can you not? Uh, you, I mean, it's magnificent. The 300-foot orange tree is just massive. It, it's just crazy how... The thing that gets me, the thing that gets me is it's crazy because when you go to see it, you don't, you, you see the tree, and then you're like, well, it's a big tree. And then it's magnificent how it's surrounded by the pond next to it, and then the gators get up on the top of the tree and they hang out and chill up there while mm -hmm. eating some oranges. And it's fascinating yeah, to watch, I, especially when you're in the lookout. You must have went to the like lookout oranges. area and you 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 watch down at this magnificent, massive tree of oranges, and there's gators up uh, the top just eating the oranges. And I'm just, it's what a sight! What a believe, sight! You know, believe me that I don't like oranges. It's not even about the oranges. The gators like the oranges, and it's just crazy. You know what I mean? They go up there and chill and hang out and just eat the oranges off the tree. You know, they eat the oranges and they come down off to, into the water, like from the slide down into the water. I have you ever been for a cruise? I have been on a cruise. Yeah, I went up. At, I was in a cruise uh, up in Alaska a couple of years ago to see the Northern Lights. Okay. Have you? Have you gone on a cruise? Uh, where and where and when? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The Baruda. Yeah? Where where would you go to the yeah. where'd you go to the cruise? Yeah, Portland. Portland. Yeah. The Portland cruise. Yeah. Uh, what what uh what'd you guys do up there? I have not been on the Portland cruise. Yeah. You never done uh, you never no, went to Portland? I have not done the Portland cruise, no. But there you know, there is my cousin house. That's why we went. It's uh, for the vacation. It's almost life. Uh, it's almost five years ago. Five years ago. Okay. Okay. Would you recommend it? Would you recommend it? Oh, uh, what recommendation you want? I'll like, would you, you would you recommend somebody going to the Portland cruise? Is what I'm asking you. Uh, that's you know as simple as that. Like like if you haven't seen the the giant orange tree in Florida, I'd say hey, you should go check it out if you're in the Florida area. It's definitely worth a see. See, I've seen it, but uh, I'm not eagerly to want to see that. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay. Have it's you been? To, have done, you? Man. Have you ever been to Tennessee? Tennessee. Yeah, Tennessee. Uh, no, I I never went to Tennessee, but I know the ma mayor of Tennessee, Glenn Jacob. Oh, you know the mayor? No kidding. Yeah. How did you two meet? I've seen him in the television. 
Oh, oh, you never actually met him. You're just saying you know the mayor, as in like you, you're aware of who the mayor. I understand. Okay, I, I thought I thought maybe you knew him personally. I was like, oh my gosh, how did you guys meet? Okay, that He's makes a more big sense. He's person. He don't have time to meet me. Oh well, yeah, you never know. Like people know, uh, like I mean, you know, some people know. Uh, I I know uh, I know a guy from Wisconsin who wears a cheese hat. Right now, you know, uh, did you got did you got the news that in, uh, the uh, M uh, Mrs. Elizabeth has passed away? I have not heard the news. You never heard the news? I haven't right heard now, the news. Uh, Queen Elizabeth from England, she passed away right now. It's a shame. It's a shame. Have you ever been to England? I have not been to England, no. No, I have not been to England. So, first of all, I'm telling you the most important thing. There will be a form pop-up on your computer screen. That will be the Chase Online Refund Form. So, whatever the information you will going to type, all right, each and everything will be validated into your account. And don't do any kind of a mistake on that form map. Okay, it's an irreversible form. So very soon you will see the form, ma'am. Okay? Okay. It's almost done. Yep. I'm extremely sorry that I've taken so much of your time. No, no, no need to apologize. I, I've, have, uh, I've had a wonderful conversation with you. Um, you liked it? Uh, up until the point where you said something about the queen. I think uh, that was uh, rude coming from your dirty mouth. Uh, I don't think... Uh, other than that, yeah, fine conversation. I'm good to hear that, that you, you enjoy my company. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So, so how long does this take? I still have the blue screen here. You said there should be a form of some uh, kind? Yeah, there will be a form, the irreversible form. It's coming up right now. Okay. Okay. So in a minute, probably in a minute. Okay, probably in a minute. Okay. Yeah, it hasn't shown up yet. And so has, any, has anybody ever any told you uh, that you have uh, a voice for radio or a face for radio? Uh, what can you see on your computer screen right now, ma'am? Well, I was just asking you a question. I see the form. Yeah, I see the form here. I just was asking you, do you have a, do you have a face for radio? Mm, no. Nope. You have a good voice is what I'm saying. You know, it's maybe a poor radio, I guess, but... Anyway, it doesn't matter. So, yeah. so I just fill this out? Yeah, you can fill up the form, ma'am, otherwise the form will get expired. I don't so want that to happen. Yeah, I don't want that to happen. So just fill this out, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, the entire name? Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it will be done automatically. It's a reversible form. It will be done automatically. Oh, okay. And in the refund amount, in the refund amount, you need to type over there five hundred dollars, five zero zero point zero zero. Well, okay. Um. The entire amount, four ninety nine point nine nine. So that you will get back a refund. Dollar sign first. Yeah. And, dollar uh, sign first. Five zero zero point zero zero. I don't mean to. I don't mean to step on your toes here. Uh, but uh, it's it was five hundred and twenty three dollars and forty eight cents. Yeah, the twenty three dollar you will get a service charge. Okay, you will get back after fifteen minutes, ma'am. So well, I don't right want a, I don't want a service then. charge. I want my fifteen. I want my twenty three dollars. Yeah, so, you will get back the twenty three dollars. Yeah, that's what I mean. So it's five hundred twenty three point no 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 four eight. Ma'am. No, ma'am. You need to type over the five hundred five zero zero point zero zero. I think it's. I think okay. you're mistaken though, because it, it wasn't. It wasn't five hundred. It, 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 I'm missing twenty three dollars. That's what I'm trying, trying to say. To the, the the bill what on I'm, the res, uh, on the invoice. Uh, like, ma'am, ma'am. The invoice number Can is going to be PP five three two six four eight eight. Uh, if you want to just verify to make sure, but I'm pretty sure I remember it being five twenty three forty eight. Can you listen to me, ma'am? Yeah, no, I'm... The I'm, $23... Well, 
like I said, I don't mean to, I don't mean to, you know, it's, I don't mean to argue a couple pennies here, but you know, $23 is a lot more than a couple pennies. So I'm just throwing it out there that the $23. Alan, you there? I think he got mad at me. Alan. Yes, ma'am. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you. So you can type the refund amount, $500, 500.00. 500. 500.00? Yes. Have you done, ma'am? Yeah, I've done that. Just check your name, each and everything is correct? Um, it looks like everything is correct. Okay. So, just check your account. That's good. Uh, oh dear. What happened, ma'am? No, 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 no. It's, it, there's a, there's, there's a lot more extra money in here. Just check your amount, how much balance you're receiving in your account. It's 50,000 extra dollars. 50,000? Just check 50, with the form, ma'am. Did you miss a decimal? dollars extra. So did you, did you miss any decimal sign or anything like that? I didn't that? miss anything. I, told, I was trying to tell you it was $23. Did you hit an extra... I think yeah, what exactly happened? I'll let you know, ma'am. When I, you're typing the zero over there, ma'am, the decimal well, I was sign trying to has take the, left, That's what I was trying to tell you. It was just 23. I don't know how this happened. Ma'am, you know it very well, ma'am. It's a $50,000 blunder which has been done right now, ma'am. I don't know, know how this well. happened. I honestly don't know how this happened. I didn't type that many zeros. By, by golly, that's a lot of zeros. It, I think it has done by mistake. First of all, you can just sign up from your online banking, ma'am. If the senior level officer wants to know, I will be in a deep, deep trouble. Just close your bank page. Okay. Just close it, ma'am. Okay, it's closed. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Ma'am, should I totally trust on you, ma'am, the money which I you didn't, have received? Look, and look Alan, I, 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 was having a good, I was having a good time with you. I didn't, I didn't put the extra zeros. You don't think I would do that on purpose. I, I, I didn't do that. I don't know can how it happened. Ma'am, can you just listen to me for a I'm, moment, I'm listening ma'am. to you. I just, I honestly, I don't know what happened. I was like, you know, I was talking to you about the balloons and the paintball and, 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 and the, the cheese, the guy with the cheese ma'am. and the mayor of Tennessee. And I was having a good time with you. I was just, you know, we were vibing. And, and, and next thing I know, I know uh, you know, I was talking to you about the 23 ma'am. extra dollars and that got out of hand because you said that you will do it later just and another listen charge. Listen to me very carefully, ma'am. I, 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 you know, just, I wasn't even, I wasn't even trying, like, don't think I was trying to take extra money from you or anything like that. I, 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 I don't know how it happened. It, 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 and then, and then, and then the extra zeros moment, come ma'am. in. Can you just it listen to me for a moment? I don't know how it happened. I, I, honestly, I was just... Can you just listen to me for a moment? Can you just, just listen to me for a moment? I, I don't get how it, this... Yeah, go right ahead. I I just don't. I'm I'm a little speechless. Ma'am, I just I don't know what. Can you just listen to me for a moment? Yeah, go right ahead. I'm listening to you. I I just don't know how it happened. Ma'am, first of all, you listen to me, then you talk, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Ma'am, you know it very well. Each and everything the blunder has been done already, ma'am. If my senior yeah. level officer wants to know, I, well, don't, I will be don't a let deep, them. Let's not tell them. Let's not tell them what's happening. I, I, I don't want you to get in trouble. You're a nice boy. I don't think you, I don't think you should get in trouble. Other than you talking bad about the, you, but that's, you're just. And I if, think you're just, you're just kind of an, you know, you, you're just young and dumb, right? Like, what are you like? If your anyway. bank wants to know, ma- ma'am, listen to me, Go ma'am. Ahead, yeah. Then you talk, ma'am. First of all, please listen to me, It's our dirty little me, secret ma'am. at this point. So what do we? So how do I fix this? I, I don't like. Is this something you can take care of on your end? You know, can you just listen to me for a moment? Yeah. Go right ahead. I just don't want you it's to lose your, your job. Okay. I, I I I'm worried that you might you might have a uh, like your bosses if they get to know what happened. Ma'am. Crap. Crap. Um, I... Look, I know somebody. I know somebody. Um, 
I can give them a contact. I can give them a call. They can make this right. They can make this right. I know someone. Ma'am, can you just give me a moment so I can speak up? He's a good guy. He's a good guy. Uh, just don't say anything to your bosses. Don't say anything to the company. Carry on work for the rest of the day as normal, as intended. Um, I'll give them a call. They're, uh, they know some stuff. They're like, uh, what do you call it? You don't need uh, to uh, call. No, I know. He's like a, he's a, he's the guy. He's the guy you call when you're in trouble with stuff. Um, he's an ethical hacker. We can give him a call. Uh, his name is, uh, Daryl. We'll give him a call. Yes, yes. I, I, I'm just letting you know, just You bitch, listen to me, you bitch. Listen to me, you bitch. Listen to me, you bitch. Whoa! Thank you for calling the customer support of my cafe. How may I help you? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, could I talk to an Allen uh, person? Sorry? Could I talk to Allen? Allen, is he available? Uh, we got disconnected. Uh, he sent me yes, a... Yes, this is. Yeah, he sent me a boatload of money and we got disconnected at the worst possible time. Okay, so are you in front of your computer here? Yeah, I'm already in front. He told me to sign out of my bank account because there was extra money in there, 50000 extra dollars, and then we got disconnected. I don't know what to do. I'm kind of freaking out. Okay, so what do you see right now in front of your computer? Just I'm looking at my bank account. I was told to, ha I was told to sign out of my bank account, and now we I don't know where it happened. We got disconnected. Okay, no worries about that. So first of all, ma'am, just look, just minimize each and everything on your computer and just go back to your home screen. Okay. Is, is this Alan? Yes, ma'am, this is Aaron. Aaron or Alan? Because I'm looking for Alan. Alan, Alan. Alan, okay. Yeah, this is Alan, right. We talked on the phone earlier, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. But somehow the line got disconnected. It's right. very thankful that you did the call back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just I want to get this straightened out. Like I said, I, I know somebody. If you if there is not a possible, they could. Uh, it would cost a little bit of extra money, but maybe you and I can go halfers in it. We can get this. He's an ethical hacker, so it, it's. You know, it's something where yeah, he can get yeah. this straightened out. He can log into the banks. This guy's the guy's the shit, if I may say. But uh, if we need anything from that, he could do that for us. Uh, just letting you know, he's he's good. He's the best of the best. Yes, that's right. right. So just be on your home screen and just let me know. Okay, I'm on my home screen now. Okay, now just look into your home screen icons. Do you see the icons of Team Weaver? Uh, no, I don't. Is this Alan or what? Yeah, this is Alan, ma'am. You just need to check for the Team Weaver. I don't just have see there a, is what icon is a Team Viewer. Team Viewer. What is that? What is that? What is that? So what exactly do you see? Do you see the icons on your computer screen? Where are you where are you located at, Alan? We are located in California, ma'am. You're in California. Yes. Okay, so where is the other okay. Alan that I spoke to that was in Florida? Because right now you're connected to the same Aaron, okay? That's the I'm reason not, why we I'm got this trying, I'm not trying to talk to Aaron. I'm trying to look for Alan. Alan's in California. Could you give me yeah. transfer to him? All right, ma'am. So what I can do right now, ma'am, okay? I just talked to the Alan in the Florida state. So you talk to the, you talk to him, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to transfer your call to him. He will talk to you. All right, okay, thank just you give so much. me a moment. Thank you so much. Just be online with me. Okay. Let me connect you to him. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Yes, hello. Is this Alan? Okay, just be online. Okay, do one thing, ma'am. First of all, <clears throat> just do one thing. Just try to open up your Google Chrome browser. Okay, it's open. And on the Google Chrome browser, just see on top, there is a long address bar. 
where right. you can type something. Look, I need, I need to, because, uh, I don't need to search anything on Google right now. I need to return this guy's money. Alan told me not to mention that the, it. That, that the reason why, <laughs> that the reason why Alan told me, Alan told me to get you connect with the server first, the live server, then only your call will be transferred to him. So for that what reason only, mean? I'm just... What do you mean getting connected mm -hmm. to the live server? I need to return this guy's money. He sent me $50,000. Yeah, that's the reason why. That's the reason why I'm telling you. So he told me to first connect you to the live server. The where he got disconnected, we have to connect you on that server again. Then only we have to transfer a call to him so he can proceed further with the refund. All right? You understand that? Not really. So what do you want to do right now, ma'am? If you don't connect with that live server, we can't help you to get your money refund back. I don't need a refund. I have $50,000 in my account. Yeah, for that reason, 50000 again, that is the company money, right? No kidding. Yeah, it's the company money. That's what I'm trying to let you know is I don't need to get connected <clears throat> to the server. I need to send the money back. Okay, no worries. Just be online with me, okay? Just talk to my senior. I just need to talk to Alan. Officer. Yeah, yeah, he's my senior officer. He's know Alan very well. He will explain you each and everything, okay? Yeah, get, get me so just be online somebody. with me. Yeah. I'm starting to think you guys don't have the ability to get this back. Yeah, just be online, ma'am. I'm just going to keep you know, if you guys are busy and you officer. no, if you guys are busy, that's fine. I'll call back another time, but uh, yeah, like, no, I'll just call we, back we are... another. You clearly, you guys clearly don't know what you're doing. I I don't know what to tell you. You figure out, figure out what you're you, doing. We are busy. figure out what you're doing, and then uh, give me a call once only. you figure it out, okay? Because I I don't know what else to do. You guys send me fifty thousand dollars and hang up the phone, and I'm just supposed to wait here. But what do you? I'm just not just gonna be on the line, okay? The point of disconnect, you, you figure it out. Figure it out. I don't, I don't know what else to tell you. You got. You gave me fifty thousand dollars, and the guy just decides to walk away. I don't know what else to tell you. You just. You figure it out some other okay, way. Okay. No worries. No worries. No worries. I can give you a call back. Okay. Sounds good. Give me a call back whenever you figure out what to do. Cause I, I I'm in a panic myself. Yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'm gonna go get some rest. Okay. You go get some rest and figure out okay. when you call me back when you're ready. Yeah, I can give you a call back after half an hour. That's okay for you? Yeah, sounds great. Okay, thank you. Thank you for calling support. It is David. How may I help you? Uh, hi, David. I'm calling in regards of uh, an invoice number I have here about canceling it. All right. Can you help me with the invoice number? Yeah, the invoice number is going to be uh, 9876. Mm -hmm. Fifty four mm -hmm. three two one. All right, thank you very much. Just give me a second, man. Sure thing. Yeah, it's like a a, a country market or something. Yeah, like a, it's like has different countries and and uh, that's where I get them. You can get them at Walmart or on Amazon. They're on Amazon. They're like thirty dollars a pack or something stupid. It's very expensive for one pack. I have yet to see them at Walmart. I'll give a, another look at Walmart, but All I've right, never seen them. As I can see, this order amount is $1,477, and that is for a QuickBooks. So are you using a QuickBooks service? Uh, no, I'm not. So you want to cancel this order? Yes, sir. All right, miss, I will cancel this order from my end. The next 24 hours, you receive the confirmation email like this order is canceled. All right, sounds good. Anything else you want from my side? Uh, yeah, really quick. I just need to insult you. Is that okay? All right, miss. Okay, uh, your breath stinks. All right, I got that out of the way. That was a quick redeem. Safe travels, everyone. If you guys are going anywhere for the weekend, absolutely safe travels. Uh, take care, everyone. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Have a good one. Oh my gosh, I love you all so much. I do. Awkward hour has begun. It's bonker hour. Take care. Enjoy. Bye. Oh my gosh.